mortgages. Learn how to tap the equity in your home and increase the quality of your life by earning tax-free income while protecting your other retirement assets. Join us for our free second Saturdays webinar every month to learn more. This is not too good to be true. All you need to do is reverse your thinking. Call me today, Reverse Rob, to learn more at 602-REVERSE. That's 602-738-3773 or download my app by searching Retire Right with Reverse Rob. Airlines have just reduced their prices even more. Book 30 days in advance and save big. Want the absolute lowest prices on your airline tickets? Then call the low-cost airlines travel hotline right now. For prices so low, we can publish them anywhere. The only way to access our low rates and save up to 70% is to call. Save hundreds on your vacation tickets by calling right now. You can fly anywhere in the world and pay discount prices on your airline tickets. Book a flight today to London, Paris, Madrid, or anywhere else you want to go. And pay a lot less guaranteed. Call the International Travel Department right now at low-cost airlines. 802-341-4535, 802-341-4535, 802-341-4535, 802-341-4535, that's 802-341-4535. If you're rolling over your 401k to an IRA soon, but not sure if you want to go all in on this crazy market, here's what many retiring professionals are doing. How about a safe and secure IRA offering a contractually guaranteed 10% income bonus that grows 7% annually guaranteed? Your income can double in 10 years. Meanwhile, neither your principal nor your retirement income is ever subjected to a market downturn. Even if the market crashes by 50%, you get the 10% bonus. Your income keeps growing at 7% and your principal may grow without losses uncapped. You go up with the index, never down, forward, never back. Get a 10% income bonus with a 7% contractually guaranteed growth rate. I compare over 1,200 annuities with a fiduciary duty and can help you retire and stay retired. Guarantees rely on the financial strength of the insurer. So compare with leading annuity authority, Steve Jurich now. Visit IQAnnuity.com. 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 Contractors, listen up. This is Bruce Jacobs. Are you missing out on jobs due to lack of bonding? When your current bonding holds you back, call Arizona's number one bond managers at Constructors Bonding. They have the market relationships and expertise to take you where you want to go, serving all types of contractors of any size and license in all states. When you need better bonding, call Dave McKee at Constructors Bonding, 602-432-5929, or visit cbialliance.com. KQFN Also transmitting on K25CD Phoenix at 99.3 FM. And K24EU Fountain Hills at 95.9 FM. All right, people, settle down. Because it's time. time for what? Showtime. When does it start? Right now. Three, two, one. Let's get on with the show. Let's do it. <laughs> Here on the Daily Blender, your good friend, your radio pal, Jeffrey O'Brien, alongside Randy White. Got Keon Rose in the control room, and you guys are in the Fanatic text line, 888-368-1580, as we broadcast live in the Harmon Solar Studios in Scottsdale. I should have bet last night. I should have bet last night. I was 100% correct in uh, the way I picked things. Sure, it's only two games. Sure, probably wasn't that difficult to come up with, but. I should have bet. I should have bet a two-game parlay and maybe got some good odds because exactly what I said would happen happened. Except for did not expect the Clippers to play uh, as well as they did. Of course, they predictably uh, did what they did at the end. But uh, yeah, you, I felt like the ghost of Doc Rivers was nearby. But <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, did you guys bet on me this last night? Did you guys put any uh, money down on the play-in? Not me. Can you, you can. No, I, I, I didn't. I, I uh, you know, the two teams that we expected to win were the favorites. And I thought, well, the payout from that's not going to be great. So I just kind of left it alone. Um, so I, I, I didn't end up betting anything. But boy, mm-hmm. if, if I did, I think you'd, you'd have sweat out both games coming down to the fourth quarter. Real, well, yeah. I, I mean, the, the Brooklyn Nets uh, took care of business with the Cavaliers. And uh, I, I get what you're saying. The uh, Cleveland did make a run at it in the second half, but. Uh, the Nets, uh, you know, I, I was I never felt like it was in any kind of jeopardy, but Ron lost his parlay. That was the big thing. Uh, oh, so, too bad. 
I was told today, not only will there not be a raise, there's also not going to be toilet paper in the bathrooms for a while. Mm-hmm. So bring not your again. own from home. Bring not your own from, until he wins another big parlay. Oh, man, bring your own TP. B Y O T P. No oh, boy. That's our that's our code for when Radio Ron loses a bet. B Y O T P. Uh, so, all right. What are your thoughts on how the Brooklyn Nets looked last night, uh, Keon? Uh, okay, so. Uh, people are like, oh, they deserve to be here. Uh, well, there's been some questions about that. How do you feel about the Nets right now? They're, they should be considered uh, a favorite to, to come out of the Eastern Conference. Kyrie and Kevin Durant together, they're two superstar players. Sure, and not they, overreacting, they though. Play, it, was, it was the no, Cleveland Cavaliers. It was the Cavs, but I'm not just basing it on last night. Though last night, uh, I think, showed what uh, Kyrie can do uh, when he's out on the floor and, and playing consistently. But uh, no, it's not just not just an overreaction to the, to the Cavs thing. When when those two guys are playing on the floor together, they're a threat. They're a threat to everybody in the Eastern Conference. All right. Uh, so then the other game, that was a surprise uh, to mm-hmm. see uh, the Clippers look for a, a good portion of the game, like they were firmly in control, and uh, you started to doubt it, whether or not uh, the Timberwolves were going to survive that game, and then. Uh, can I tell you why else the play-ins are dumb? Well, even though the Clippers lost, they still get to play again on Friday. That's stupid. Well, they would have been the eighth seed anyway if if we did, if we didn't have a play-in game. So we shouldn't have uh, a play-in game. We shouldn't. Have so you know, I mean, the, the the Clippers could potentially find themselves losing a the next game and then being a team that could have been an eighth seed not in the playoffs, like the Golden State Warriors a year ago. So hey, Randy, remember when you used to say? Hey, the NBA is rigged. The draft lottery is rigged. That did, mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, I start to wonder about, you know, slight riggedness uh, because Patrick Beverly was in the game. Well, wait a minute. Didn't he berate a ref the other day? Uh, he got fined $25,000 for it, and but he still got the play. He was ejected from a game for berating a ref, got fined $25,000, but he still got to play in this game. Um, that's not really standard procedure for the NBA, is it? Well, apparently it is. Uh, and we, we will have to look back to see if there's some substance to this. But as I've said for many years, the NBA knows who they want in the playoffs and, and how long they want them to stay in the playoffs. That's all I'm going to say about it. I'm not going to go and put my aluminum you know, tinfoil hat on. I'm not well, going to yeah. walk around uh, saying right. that there are magnets uh, sucking the life out of our brain. I'm just well, telling are, you but... uh, that there are some things that are obvious, and the NBA being rigged is one of them. All right, so let's go to our Scully, uh, Keon. Uh, are we uh, overreacting to this where uh, Mr. Beverly got to play in a game where otherwise he, he should have been suspended for one? Um, well, because I, I don't think he uh, – it's a guarantee he otherwise would have been suspended. I, I do think that uh, – uh, the league has he called left... a ref your trash. Yes. Um, but th- that's not necessarily an automatic suspension. The league does, t- you know, look, look at that stuff and th- there's a level of subjectiveness and I, they have left it intentionally vague, I think for these reasons. Uh-huh. So, so, it's, so it's, if you're going to call a referee trash, do it right before <laughs> a play in or play off game and, and, and be a key player, uh-huh. be, be a key player. Cause if, if you're not a key player, you know, you, you probably still catch that suspension. Uh, but Patrick Beverly was a key player and then, you know, the NBA cares about ratings and that rule is vague enough and open to interpretation enough. And I, mm. and I believe they've mm-hmm. left it that open on purpose mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that, you know, they, they can have the leeway to let guys stay or, or not. See, if I were Adam Silver, if I were Adam Silver, I would, I would, I would keep it, uh, uh, as they say on, uh, speak for yourself, a hundred. I would keep it 100, and here's what I would do. I, I would uh, not only suspend Patrick Beverly, I would suspend uh, Marcus Morris as well. Well, mostly because he hit on my wife at a, a Costco gas station once, but it, that's what I would do if I were Adam Silver, yes. And yeah, I'd probably eat a sandwich. He, need, he looks like he hasn't eaten in years. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm, Adam Silver little, needs a sandwich. Little, that, little Oliver Twist going on with uh, Adam Silver. Hashtag Silver, right. Adam Silver needs a sandwich. That's a, if, if, I, yeah. if I knew what I was doing with social media, I would start that hashtag immediately. Hashtag Adam Silver needs a sandwich. And uh-huh. it's spelled S-A-M-M-I-C-H. C-H, that's, the, yeah. that's the proper way. Of course. Uh, Adam Silver needs a sandwich. 
Anyway, uh, so, all right, let's talk about the game last night. Now, you, the Clippers, will they win on Friday? Do you think that, okay, okay we, do, we, we know who they're playing on Friday yet. We don't do it. We, we don't know who they're oh, playing. Oh, okay. No. Does that seem like a team that's ready to play in the playoffs? The Clippers, they're an inconsistent team. And, and of course, you know, Randy was talking yesterday about uh, the, the return of playoff P, who promptly vanished in the game uh yesterday i mean the carl anthony towns was was struggling for the timberwolves and i think it overshadowed how little paul george actually did for the clippers so he's gonna have to show up uh no matter who they wind up playing whether it's the spurs or the pelicans oh you, what and do you he, mean uh, he, can, he, can, he wasn't there what do you what do you, what do you mean <laughs> playoff p vanishing yeah. in the playoffs yeah. who yeah we've never seen that before who, hmm, who would have thought hmm, who would have thought hmm. come on <laughs> All right, so uh, how about these Timberwolves? Uh, are they still uh, a scary, uh, scarier team? Or are, uh, are we still going to have to worry about them? Or is it still sort of just like, well, you, they're in the lower levels there. But remember, uh, we're, we're about to find out who the Suns are going to play on Sunday, right? So uh, what are your thoughts on the Timberwolves? Uh, the Timberwolves are, are really damn good, and I think they showed how, how deep they are. Um, you know, and I, I was raving about Carl Anthony Towns and everybody raves about Carl Anthony Towns and how talented he is. Obviously, the strategy for the Clippers yesterday was to take Carl Anthony Towns out of the game and let the rest of the Timberwolves beat them. And uh, b- between, you know, uh, D'Angelo Russell and, and how well he played and Anthony Edwards and how well he played, uh, the, you know, the you know, second year player, Anthony Edwards, and how good he's been in the league since he's been here. They're, they're clearly deep enough and have enough scoring options. But if you take Carl Anthony Towns away, this is a Timberwolves team that can still beat you. So, yeah, I, I think that they actually have proved uh, how, how legitimate they are. Well, I, I'm really disappointed in you. There's only one thing that really matters, Keon, and that's the fact that Glenn Taylor roasts chickens alive. <laughs> that's all that matters. Well, you know, can I just show you a picture of the lady who glued herself to the court last night? She is the uh, visual epitome of. Uh, there she is. She was protest. Evidently, Glenn Taylor owns a chicken farm or something, and uh, they they had a bout of the chicken flu, and so oh they're boy. like, "Well, we yeah. we gotta we gotta kill off all these chickens because we can't sell them. You can't eat them, and this is just a we, we don't want there to be a big outbreak." So, uh, evidently, the animal rights people got upset about it, and then he says, "You know, they were killing these chickens alive." And so this woman goes down there, glues her hand. Kevin Harlan's like. Right now, a uh, staff member down on the court, and uh, it, it turns out like no, it's not. She glued herself, and then you, you could just hear Kevin Harlan the wheels turning at that point. But uh, yeah, I guess I don't know how she got to it, but she got right to the court, glued her hand to it, and she used real sticky stuff. Uh, in fact, it took them a little bit of time to get that off the court after they pulled her off of it. In fact, when when they first pulled her off it, and you see a picture of the court. There's a glue shaped handprint on it. I was like, oh my God, was that her skin? <laughs> it wasn't. It was just glue, but uh, it was one of the saddest uh, attempts at a protest I've ever seen. This looks like uh, this looks like like my best friend's drunk mom and is like, Can you take us to the mall? And she's like, uh, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, or or the the, the little kid kind of throwing a tantrum in uh in, in the store and yeah, the mom's just tra- down. dragging the kid. Uh, with the, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that that was just uh that was just I mean, she's got her mask in her hand, so she's like, uh, I'm gonna wear a mask, but like, when I protest, that mask is coming off. Screw you, COVID. I need the world to see that Glenn Taylor roasts chickens alive. And my first thought was, no, no, you're thinking of uh, Kenny Rogers. Uh, Kenny Rogers roasters. They do that, don't they? Isn't that how they get yeah, them so tender and tasty? Yeah, there in the restaurant. And it just goes around a rotisserie. Oh, yeah. And they, the chickens, you could tell they were alive at one time. Yeah. And, and listen, uh, it, it's a it, it's a shame. It's a shame that more places don't roast their chickens alive because it does. It it brings something out, you know. And, uh, it, and by the way, it was an egg farm. It wasn't a, a chicken farm. It was an egg farm. So, you know, I, I don't know how you feel about all Glenn the, Taylor uh, roasts his chickens alive. Yeah, I don't feel about uh, chicken abortions, but uh, there had to be lots. And so, I mean, that's a whole nother protest maybe for the next night. But uh, yeah, Watermelon, I did hear about that protester. Can't say she didn't have any skin in the game. Oh, ah, boy. Thank you, Watermelon. Ah, 
I hate myself. This is a dad <laughs> joke right there. Are you a dad, Watermelon? Uh, you must be. Glissel Hayes says, did they just play the rest of the game around that protester? You know, since she was glued to the floor? I think they should have. And occasionally, you know, inbounded by bonk. Right over her I head. mean, well, she was right <laughs> under the basket. I mean, any dunk would have just ruined her, her day multiple times. I don't see the uh, I don't see the effectiveness of gluing yourself to the floor if you just if it's just a hand. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, well, if you no, you wear like clothes I, uh, dipped in uh, you know super glue and you just, just run out yourself mid court. Yeah. Now we're talking about a protest, but hey, yeah, just your hand down there. Hey, give me a break. It's Follow so Radio Randy seven seven for more tips on how to effectively protest. Yeah, because uh, yeah, you're right. That that right there is just the saddest. Yeah, thing. I mean, yeah. Look, they just do the hand thing. They get that up a little acetone I, and bang, she's out of there. Look, if you if you dip those clothes, if you jump in a vat of super glue and you run out there and jump on the logo like Spread Eagle, now we've got some I, activity. I don't now know we've got some excitement, some interest. You see what I'm saying? I don't know that they would have let her in the building though. That's what the, you talking uh, about. Yeah. What, the, you wait till you're in the building, Keon. Yeah, but then how if do you carry enough to... glue in? To, oh, to... Geez, she got glue in for her hand. Put it in a I mean, that, that's good a, night. You that's put it in the first buster of... cup and then you pour it on oh, yourself. Oh, man. Yeah. No, okay. you, you got to have like a, you got to have an insider. Uh, there are uh, animal rights people everywhere. Got to have an insider somewhere. Hey, all right, I'm going to get into the they game. They have so little energy, though, <clears> because and they're and vegans. So. You're going to you're gonna drench me in super glue, and then I'm going to run. I'm a full sprint. Right out to the middle of the logo. I don't think super glue is going to cut it, Randy. I think you need some industrial adhesive, sticky stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, you're complicating this. You, you get a thirst buster uh, filled with the goo. You get somebody else with a thirst buster filled with the goo. You pour some down your front. You have your friend pour it down your back. You run out to the court. You go yes. spread eagle in the middle. Have the message on your back, not your mm. front. So mm. then you, they can't help but see the message. Well, if you're if you're if you're a lady and you're doing it, that was obviously a lady. If you're a lady, uh, what you do is you have that uh, you have that uh, uh, you got that all over your 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 uh, rear parts. Every cameraman in the place yeah. will be showing that. Well, yeah. no, not with this lady. <laughs> no? Sorry, no, no. That this is not exactly what you call uh, eye yeah, candy. I see that out there on yeah. the. Oh, she's there. just got uh, on her t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. you see. Well, see, I was suggesting again, the back if of the you t-shirt. do that with a t-shirt, and you got that on your front. And you uh, and you go the, the you know the full spread eagle there when no, they rip no, you from no, the no, court. No, no, no. That, see that whole thing's going to be left there on the logo. So is your hair. So that's why you go face right. first. You mm. keep your face off the ground. Your body is glued to it, and yeah. they see the message on your back that uh, way. Uh, yeah, you see, what I'm saying. Yeah. Go, uh, she had she had long hair. Uh, oh my god, that that, that a hurt. So hmm. and, and as you can see. This woman is not built for any yeah. sort of actual uh, pain, stress, no, or you know, no, full time job. Not. So, is that the end line? She's got her hand glued to. Yes, yes. end line. Yes. Yeah, yes. she's right on the basket. Man. Oh my god. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, this was done wrong. This yeah. is completely wrong. They they gotta take your master class, Randy. I think uh, that's what it is. That's true. Yeah. Blissel Hayes says, in honor of the protester, I'm eating Kentucky Fried Chicken for dinner. Cheers oh, to poultry. Mm. God, I would love some uh, fries, fried chicken. Oh, yeah. I haven't had that in a while. Yeah. And he said, Did you, they just play the rest of the game around the female protester? You know, since she was glued to the floor. I, I that would have been amazing if they did mm-hmm. any mm-hmm. any little part of that. Yeah, uh, see, Pringle it, says, it, Did the refs call free second violation <laughs> for her in the lane? Three in the key. She wasn't even in the key. <laughs> she was there for about she, she, 15 she was. seconds, actually. Uh, I don't know what the violation is for that. But she's also out of bounds because her hand is on the line. So well, that's what well, I know. Mean. I, that is inconclusive, Keon. I, I would have to challenge that call because I mean, her hand is on the line. It's on, but not yeah. over. So mm-hmm. is but it touching, touching the line? line? The line is no. out. Oh, line so is the, out. the beginning yeah. of the line is out. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So she, she's out of bounds. And the yellow uh, zone is for loading and unloading. Mm-hmm. Uh, Donnie says, afternoon, boys. I'm still hung over from last night's win. Okay, now he gets it right. Howlah. Yesterday, he, he, mm-hmm. he emphasized the L's and it was how <laughs> yeah, like, like Donnie works better when he's hung over. Yeah. He says Anthony Edwards is a star. I mean, yeah, he was in Top Gun. Uh, he was also in <laughs> ER. And that was, was pretty much the end of it. For Top him. Gun? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah different, guy, different, different. Guy. Nope. Different Anthony Edwards. This is a certainly a much younger uh, Anthony Edwards. He's, yeah, no, don't, different. don't age shame people. No, I'm not age yeah. shaming him. This is Why just a different guy. Man. It's just That's a, so beneath you. Just a different human being. 
Wow. They do not look like the same person. You've at never all. seen. You've never seen Top Gun, have you? I have seen Top Gun. Top Gun is. If you don't behave yourself, Randy and I will take our shirts off and play oiled up volleyball. Oh yeah, you don't have to though. Right now, you do not have to. It's all good. Yeah. Donnie says Jordan had the flu game. We had the glue game. T Wolves with a run actually after that incident. You know, that was the turning point. So credit to her, right, Donnie? Uh, Senior Wake and Bake says, I think she uh, misunderstood the term glued to your seat. Well, she's glued to the floor. The she, yeah. well, maybe she and had four really. seats. Yeah, and poor job, too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. this is not well done. Uh, <laughs> Last Optimist says, the FDA takes over when the bird flu is found on a barn. They mandate kill every bird in there. They probably should kill the workers too to be safe. Mm -hmm. um, the FDA is really serious about uh, preventing those things from spreading. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured, but you know how it is. It, 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 people who get upset if you shoot a horse that goes lame, but they don't realize the kind of agony and pain and prolonged suffering that there will be if you don't. Uh, yeah. On the surface, oh my God, it seems horrible, but there is compassion sometimes in doing those things that make mm -hmm. the, uh, us mm -hmm. cringe we don't live in it we don't uh listen i'll be honest if it were up to me to kill it gut it uh, skin it do all that stuff to it i'd probably eat less hamburgers <laughs> i really would <laughs> but uh you know i'm not uh, going to begrudge the people who do the work and get it done and get it to my plate and mm -hmm. uh, i'm going to trust them that they know what they're doing it's not just that they are shady and uh, money grubbing that is the way you're supposed to handle that situation to keep other people from suffering and other animals from suffering. Sometimes you, it's called, you got to cull it. You got to do it. You got to take, take care of that business, scorched earth and move on. Yeah. Yeah. There is no better way. Uh, Mr. Pink Guy says, would have been better if she'd used Gorilla Glue. Well, oh, yeah, yeah that's yes. true. I mean, I mean, there's a, a number of uh, infractions here. If you're going to do a protest, a number yeah. of infractions, it's, it's all in my master class. Uh, you can look it up uh, online uh, at Radio Randy's master classes on how to throw a protest. Just, you know, Google that. Uh, if uh, she'd followed yeah. Randy's uh, precise instructions, not only yeah. Yeah. would she have had a better protest, uh, they would have had to pull up a piece of the hardwood floor to go oh, with yeah. her hand and yeah. she'd have yeah. a souvenir. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where she failed. She failed across the board. And right. shame on her. Big George says, happy hump day. Well, Minnesota timber pups won, but I don't think they're a real threat to the Suns. Memphis mm -hmm. is going to send the timber pups uh, whimpering back to Minnesota. All the Minnesota fans on Twitter are super annoying, gloating about their team right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, yeah, I haven't I hadn't found that, and, and maybe mostly because I was just talking to uh, to, to Donnie last night, but it was, uh, you know, the Timberwolves fans, this team has not had a lot of success, and I just think that, you know, your team gets in the playoffs. That's a big moment for you if they don't get there very often. Is this really the playoffs, though? Well, they, they're in is. now. No, they, oh, they, won, okay. they won their okay. playing game, so they uh, are now. Stop officially. screwing with me. The playing game is the playoffs. I'm tired no. of people saying no. it's not. No. No. B no. is in B, no. S is in S. You don't get Kevin Harlan it's... at a regular season game. You understand what I'm no. saying? I it's mean, the way Kevin Harlan the does do, do regular season any, games. Well, I never yeah. hear them because it's not the playoffs. <laughs> Come on, play in the playoff. Uh, it's the postseason, but it's not the playoffs. You know, I'll fight any woman who says otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Oh, that sounded a little Cam Newton, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> or, or that guy from yesterday. Yeah. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. This is Brett Musburger's action update. Heads up, sports bettors. Right now, you can try VSIN all access free for 30 days with no credit card required. Visit vsin.com slash free month to sign up now. Here are the latest lines from my guys in the desert. The East 9th and 10th place teams meeting in the play-in game tonight. The Hawks, a five-point favorite against the Hornets. The over-under at 236. Later, the Spurs and Pelicans, the 9th and 10th place teams in the West. New Orleans, a five-and-a-half-point home favorite, 226. The over-under. Justin Thomas and Colin Morikawa, co-favorites in Hilton Head, South Carolina, for the 54th edition of the RBC Heritage, underway Thursday. Both at plus 1,400. Cameron Smith at plus 1,600. Dustin Johnson and Patrick Cantley each at plus 1,800. Diamondbacks hosting the Astros. Arizona plus 126 on the money line. Houston minus 150. The over-under at 9. For vcin.com, I'm Trey Westerberg on Arizona's sports betting station. Where are those receipts? Tax day is nearly here. And Chanel is stressing. Why do I always wait till the last minute? Her small business needs a bookkeeper to crunch some big numbers. Oh, these spreadsheets make my head spin. 
None of this adds up. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Our hiring platform instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know we felt that way too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Sponsored by the Arizona Army National Guard. Aired by the Arizona Broadcasters Association and this station. Market Wrap host Mo Ansari on creating a well-balanced portfolio. Are you just chasing this hot stock and that hot stock? Or do you have a plan? Do you have a balanced portfolio where you have a little bit in healthcare, a little bit in technology, a little bit maybe in energy even? How much do you have in the subsectors like communication services and technology? And then you look at all the stocks within those areas and say, okay, this is the one I like and this is the one that I don't like. But you have to have that balance. And then finding the right balance depending on what you're trying to accomplish. If you're looking for income in your portfolio, maybe you want more dividend paying stocks. Or I've got 20 years, I want growth. If you need help creating a well balanced portfolio, call pound 250 and say, talk to Mo, or go to compact.com and click on the get started button. Again, from your cell phone, call pound 250 and say, talk to Mo, or visit compact.com and click on the get started button. Compact Asset Management is a registered investment advisor, funds custodian, Fidelity Institutional Wealth Services member, FINRA SIPC. Did you know that Constructors Bonding has been Arizona's leader in surety management for over 40 years? Hi, this is Dave McKee, president of Constructors Bonding, inviting you to learn how our team can deliver better bonding than anyone anywhere. Contractors, developers, attorneys, car dealers, and hundreds of other industries turn to Constructors Bonding for their bond solutions. Call me personally at 602-432-5929 to learn how Constructors Bonding is your solution for better bonding. 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic is your exclusive home for the six-time world champion indoor football league's Arizona Rattlers. All right, listen up. Tune in to The Fanatic for all the fast-paced, hard-hitting action. Listen as the Rattlers work toward the playoffs and their seventh world championship in team history. Let's keep it going. Arizona Rattlers football, exclusively on 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic and at 1580thefanatic.com. Middle of the week here on Daily Blender uh, for a Wednesday, the 13th of April. Nothing to fear. It's only weird when it's on Fridays. Uh, speaking of uh, other things not to fear, the NBA play-in tournament, uh, no sure things, but at least uh, $20 in same-game parlays on FanDuel Sportsbook, and you'll get an instant bonus, win or lose. Uh, that's when you bet at least 20 bucks. Not only do you get to enjoy the NBA's uh, best uh, fighting it out for the right to advance to the playoffs, but FanDuel's giving all customers a bonus for getting in on the action. And uh, the more you bet, the more uh, your bigger bonus. Uh, like uh, tonight's games, uh, the, uh, the stinking, uh, uh, dirty, rotten San Antonio Spurs will be facing off against the, uh, the Pelicans. Never going to forgive them for that, huh? No, never. Okay. Mm -hmm. Papa bitch, it's dead to me. Okay. Uh, so is that uh, a, a Greg Horry. But, but, Horry! Yeah. Robert Horry. Yeah, oh, Horry. whatever. Uh, or you got the uh, Charlotte Hornets uh, taking on the Atlanta Thin Hairs. Uh, that's happening tonight. Uh, you can get in on the offer uh, and, and, and get lots of opportunities uh, to get a big bonus. FanDuel offering uh, 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 a great bonus. Uh, the bigger your bet, uh, the more your bonus. So FanDuel, an official partner of the NBA, the app is safe. It's easy to use. You'll get your winnings fast and efficiently once you win. New to FanDuel Sportsbook, sign up today uh, using promo code Randy1580 to make every moment more. Uh, don't just watch the play-in tournament. No, 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 no. Uh, be a part of it. Just kind of like Glue Lady last night, only this time, hey, get the glue on your clothes. Right. Hey, get out by the logo. Really make a statement here. Or, or oh, yeah, it's, yeah. it's FanDuel. Sorry. Make, make some money <clears throat> instead. Yeah, be a part of it. Uh, bet at least 20 bucks in same game parlays and get an instant bonus, win or lose, on the FanDuel Sportsbook. Remember, 21 or older presence in Arizona. 
Bonus issued as a non-withdrawable free bets that, that free bets that expire in seven days. Max bonus 100 bucks. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text NEXT STEP to 53342. Jeff Go. Big George on the text line says, have you guys not seen Chief Skull on Twitter and all the mad crap Donnie talks about the Suns on Twitter? I don't know what's worse, Detroit fans or Minnesota fans. Oh, I, I've got one for you. 49er fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man Bear Pig says, we should all put uh, all the chickens uh, in her house instead. Oh, you just take all the live chickens when they get the flu and, and ship them over to her house. Well, that's mm-hmm. a good idea. Yeah. Uh, it's like, Lady, you got to sign for this. Uh, Blissful Hayes says, speaking of animal rights, how many horses died to make the glue she used? Pretty sure your old ex co host was involved with uh, a lot of killings mm-hmm. of those horses. <laughs> that could be. Yeah. Yeah. Senior Wake and Bake says, was it Elmer's? Never knew a uh, hand could have been made of wood. No, okay, it's super, glue. Bake. super glue. Some sort of a super glue. Yeah. Chief Skulls says, afternoon, gents. Big George can just shut it. I got a timber pup for him. It's Minnesota's year. Mm. Uh, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> I ha- might have a little bit more work to do. Um, Maybe. Maybe. You're just fresh off of a play-in game. I would, I would pump the yeah. brakes. Though, you know, uh, the players at the end of the game were celebrating like they yeah. had won the NBA yeah. Finals. Yeah. Patrick yeah. Beverly was on the scorer's table, you know, pumping up the crowd. And look, I'm, I'm all here for the, the excitement. And, and the joy and, and getting the crowd involved, but you just made the playoffs. Yeah. You, you, you didn't win anything yet. Now the yeah. real work starts. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. I mean, uh, for some people, uh, you know, a play in victory is a championship because that's as far as it'll go for them. So you, you got to give them some compassion. So I'm not going to go after well, the Minnesota Timberwolves fans the just yet. You, 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 it's easy for you guys to say that, uh, but I'm closer to Timberwolf land than, uh, uh, you know, Suns fans are right now being, you know, the, the, the best record in the league, number one uh-huh. team in, in, yeah. in, in basketball. At number the one moment. seed, I believe. Um, forgot that. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah, forget not, that. Well, the one, yeah, the one I, I said basketball. So yeah, I, I'm not yeah. just saying number one seed. I'm saying number, number one team number in basketball one, record. Home court advantage. Yeah. Home court advantage. Yeah. E, 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 number one in uh, NBA, college, yeah. high school. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Number guy one on the yeah, sidewalk. Yeah, co- yeah, coach of the year, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, p- yeah. potential MVP, potential. Look, you got a, you got a lot going for you, but I'm yeah. ticket taker what? of the year. Don't forget that. They have what? ticket taker of the year, yeah, but, uh, uh, concession yeah. worker of the year, oh, yeah. usher yeah. Number of one, the year, number one parking assistant, uh, yeah. a water most, boy of the year. <laughs> most efficient in parking. Yeah. Um, the guy who cleans up uh, sweat off the court of the year guy. Yeah, chow yeah. boy. Yeah. yeah. I'm just, you know, a year ago, uh, the, the the Wizards had to win a couple of games to get into the playoffs. And so I can tell you, having gone through that process, yeah, that ain't the championship. You don't, you don't, no. you're not, you're not celebrating like you won the damn thing, yeah. just making the playoffs. You got to what's happening, Randy? You see what's happening? Uh, what? Keon at his young age is already starting to transition into the yeah, act like you've been there. Yeah. No, yeah, I'm it's saying, starting uh, to happen. It's like starting it. I, to happen. I, I it, it, like no, it. it's not. Yeah, I'm, it I'm was only a matter of time. It's it's yeah. not act like you've been there before. Win a playoff series. If you want to celebrate after winning win round a playoff one, series and act like you've been there before. No, no we get you. No, Keon. we're a hundred percent on your side with this. The playing <laughs> game is not the playoffs. I like you, the cut of your jib, Keon. Oh my god, like the way you're going about this. Oh my god, this playing game is not the playoffs. Hold on a second. Get the hell out of my yard, kid! <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, right. it's it's the postseason, but it's not the playoffs. Win a series. Win a it's series. A it's a playoff. Uh, Mr. Pringle says, I hit pound 5-5. Five five. I asked to talk to Mo. Found out Mo doesn't know anything about having a gambling addiction. Oh, mm. so Pringle knows. Uh, yeah, it's the wrong it's number. 1-800-NEXT-STEP yeah. for the gambling addiction. It's pound 5-5. Five five. Asked to talk to Mo for, I think, financial but, market insights. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Uh, Mars Bars 805 says, Happy West Coast Whiskey Wednesday, guys. I'll take an 805, please, and go Raiders. Now we get a quarterback for the next four years, unlike some teams that are coming up short. <laughs> okay, first off, uh, I don't want to talk to you. Um, <laughs> I think he was talking about Kyler Murray, and I really don't care. Yeah, and, oh, yeah, oh, I get it coming up short. Forgot about that. Um, and yes, I, I did see your text earlier, Boomer Sooner, about uh, what's going on there. But uh, we're, we're going to talk about that later. It's not important enough to say now about what the Colts are talking to. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about it later. And, uh, and it doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, Blissel Hayes says, I think Randy likes Big Shot Bob more than he's saying. Big Shot Bob? That's, mm-hmm. that's what they called Robert Ory. 
Um, back in the day. No, he doesn't. No, I really don't. <laughs> no. Uh, Fish Tank says, first, I'll say congratulations, Keon, on winning the series as my Braves are moving very slowly out of the gate. But is there anything better than a day game where you're working? Uh, if my boss thinks I'm going to get anything done when the Braves are uh, having a weekday morning game, she is mistaken. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Wilbur says when Patrick Beverly loses the playoff series, he will likely super glue himself to center court. So he can't be removed from the, uh, from the arena. Mm. Yeah. That, that might happen. Chuckle says, speaking of the guy who cleans up the uh, sweat, do you think that he thought it was his job to clean up the protester that glued herself to the floor? Is this my job? Is this what I'm You know, I think they had to get a spatula or something yeah. to scrape that off. They did it pretty well, quick. I, they did get yeah, it resolved pretty quick. Mm. Well, I, th- I think that uh, you're, you're the guy that cleans up the sweat and you see the protester glue themselves to the floor. You go, but that's a human being. So yeah. actually, that's security's job. But they, they got to handle that. Hey, uh, you we're know, passing it, the buck to security. It'd be funny as hell is if the towel guy, the, the broom guy that gets over there with the sweaty uh, broom thing and it started Sorry. working on her just, while just, she just was still stuck her. to it. Just <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> Yeah, if I saw that, I saw this woman gluing herself to the floor and I'm the sweaty towel guy, I'm just like, bathroom break. No, no, I'll be back. No, you guys figure that out. That is uh, Mm. not my problem. Uh, Senior Wake and Bake says, hey, Laker fans, playoffs are happening. Too bad your team isn't. Uh, Bliss Hay says, many scrotum Timberwolves will get swept by the Memphis Grizzlies. Looks like that, yeah. Many scrotum Timberwolves. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Creative. Very creative. Uh, Mr. Pink Eye says, how would someone protest in baseball and football? You glue yourself the home plate uh, or something is maybe well, strap yourself to the field goal post. There's no protesting in baseball. And also home plates removable. Oh, so. I've seen plenty of uh, uh, protesting in baseball, but usually that's the managers and the players just yelling at a dump. Yeah, there's the, you don't glue yourself. Get, get the hell out of here. Yeah, that only happens in, in, uh, in uh, the basketball. That's where the hardwood floor is. Yeah. You want to Where's impress the- me? Yeah, shimmy up a foul pole. Just yeah. get up there where it's going to take yeah. them a while to get you. I guarantee you, they're going to be able to read what's on your shirt if you do that. That yeah. and then that. It, there's an element of danger that you could have respect for. You know, uh, if you can get to the field, get up on the field goal post, run across, shimmy up one of the uprights. Yeah. Then you have my respect. Just running on the field ain't getting it done. Uh, you got to do something special. And I think uh, those are two things. I don't know with basketball what you do. I, I think, yes, gluing yourself to center court, that would be the uh, the best way. Hockey? No, they'll they'll kick your ass. Yeah, yeah you, there's they'll nothing skate going. over yeah. you. They don't yeah. care. They'll skate no, over you. No. I guess maybe dangle down from the ceiling, Mission Impossible style, so that they no. can't hit you with sticks. No. Nah. They're high enough start, where they can't hurt you. Whipping but, the, whipping right. the puck up at you, wristers at you, you know, from my, from one end of the uh, the right. ice, they'll start trying to hit you. So uh, what you do is you, you lower yourself from the ceiling and you're just where people can see you, but not where they can hit you. And then you start tossing pucks down on the ice. So everybody has to stop play and look up at you. Uh, I, I think that right there would be your best strategy. Well, that'll just cause confusion. The players will think it's practice all of a sudden and uh, the game will break up and they'll start going to practice. Even better. Even better. Uh, I mean, because it's going to get attention. Uh, so if you're going to do these things, do them right. Uh, Boomer Sooner says, did you guys happen to know the attendance at the Diamondbacks game today? Uh, I don't know. I, can't, uh, they, they, I don't know if they've even posted that yet. It says, I was eating lunch and flicked on real quick and uh, flicked by it real quick, I should say. Uh, they wouldn't show any other part of the stands, but right at home plate. Like, yeah. oh, it's packed out there. Roof's open. Roof is open. But I don't think it was packed out. Mm-hmm. Well, who said it was packed? Reason why they uh, wouldn't show anybody anything else. Yeah. Biscuits and gravy thinks it's ironic, 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 irony. It's ironic uh, that she went down there to protest the death of animals. And she, he's like, well, wait, did she use any horse free glue? Because do you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With her leather belts and uh-huh. 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 glue uh-huh. made of horses as she yeah. protested the death of chickens. Yep. Uh, Robert and Surprise says, in baseball, the only person that used to run around the field was some lady called uh, Morgana. Morgana. Mm. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he's talking about. What is he talking mm-hmm. about? Oh, this was, uh, this was back in the, uh, the, uh, uh, the latter uh, 70s. Uh, Morgana was, a, uh, was a, uh, a lady that was, uh, shall we say, well-endowed. Oh, uh, that's right. Chronic uh, streaker. Was, 
She well, no, she wasn't a streaker. She was the uh, the uh, kissing bandit. She would uh, get loose oh, on the right. field that's in right. some way and run up to a particular ball player, uh, and uh, give him herpes. All, all, uh, all. Uh, would you uh, like a cold uh, solar, sir? And uh, give give them a give them a kiss on the cheek, and yeah, that was Morgana. Mm-hmm. So if you're a ball player and you popped a herp on your lip, you could just say, honey, I'm sorry. Well, it was Morgana. no mouth kisses. It was, a, you know, a, just a kiss on the cheek and maybe a little hug, you know. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Did they ever tackle her like they tackled that, oh, r- no, that no, rugby no. They, uh, everybody, fan? Uh, everybody went uh, just uh, really easy oh, with her. Oh, gosh. Yeah. So uh, really easy. I, I didn't find the uh, attendance for today. For, for the Diamondbacks, but I do have the number of home tickets sold so far this okay. season. Um, eight. There's eight. I'm pretty sure the number is eight. It's 109,000. The entire season so far. Because that that that, 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 that uh, park doesn't fill 109,000 people. So that's yeah, not per yeah, game. Not, not, it's not per game. It's total. And that's, um, you know, it's that's not many people. It's not great over the course of 162 games. So divide uh, here. Watch this, Randy. Uh, it's called math. Divide the hundred oh, no. and whatever thousand by 162. No. And that no. might give you at least some sort of an idea on how many people will be in the park. Anytime you go. Keon, are you doing, I don't see uh, am, looking am, at am me. I doing the math. No, yeah, no. you got a calculator on the computer. Don't you? Okay, give me, give me, the, give me the numbers. Keon. Well, you gave me the number. No, it's basically the, <laughs> divided by 162 games, whatever that number is. I'm just guessing. And, and, and that's not even accurate, to be honest, but it just gives you an idea of how sad it is. Senior Wakenbeck says if that was a hockey game, that chick would have been a target. Yeah, you can't no, move yourself I, to ice, though. That's the I, problem. If you, I, I'm not going to do this myself, uh, but if you, uh, I, I, I saw a few Morgana attacks live uh, watching uh, the baseball. Uh, back many years ago, uh, but you just do your own research on Morgana, uh, who would uh, run on the field, the kissing bandit. Mm-hmm. You'll see what I mean. According to Kiss the Cook, she was also known for her gentleman's entertainment. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wilbur has the numbers. It's 109, 1,000 divided by 81. Well, why is it divided by 81 if there's 100? Oh, it's, it's home games. 80. Uh, yeah, oh, 80. I didn't catch that. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You're right. You're right. Home games. Well done, Mr. Wilbur. You could have just given us the answer if you just <clears> were <throat> going to go that far with it. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Last off, Miss, you're right about that. It's 1,345. So there'll be about 1,000 people at every game. That's more than I thought there'd be. I'll be honest. Good for you, Diamondbacks. Good for so, you. <laughs> 1,345. Mm-hmm. They said about so roughly. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. We got to take a break. We are going to talk some baseball a little bit later on. But before we get to that, I'd like to take a look at the games tonight. Charlotte Hornets are taking on the Atlanta Hawks here in about 10, uh, 20 minutes. Uh, then you got the hated Spurs by Randy taking on the ha- uh, I don't know. Does anybody hate the New Orleans Pelicans? They're just not not really. No, they're just laughable. Of, and, and, yeah. they're, and they're newish and they're they, don't, they don't have like a team history to, to mm-hmm. hate. Well, spoiler alert, they're favored. We'll talk about that when we come back. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. AZ Preps 365 is your headquarters for all things high school sports in Arizona. Brett Quintine, James Mello, and Jose Garcia keep you up to speed with all the action, highlights, interviews, and insider information for the prep sports scene. You need to tune in to AZ Preps 365 every Saturday morning from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. on your new home for sports, 1580 and 99.3. The Fanatic. And always on at 1580thefanatic.com. ADOT's I-10 Broadway Curve Improvement Project is in the works. It's an 11-mile stretch of Interstate 10 between Loop 202 and I-17. When complete, your travel time through the area will be reduced. Access to Sky Harbor, retail centers, and colleges will be improved. And the region will be able to better support a growing economy and more. Keep up with the project and traffic updates at I-10BroadwayCurve.com. And stay ahead of the curve. This message is sponsored by the Arizona Department of Transportation. 
What if I told you there's a wealth management firm that offers a 100% satisfaction guarantee? Think it doesn't exist? Think again. Hi, I'm Mo Ansari, president of Compaq Asset Management. When you start a new relationship with Compaq, we'll create your customized investment portfolio and financial plan dedicated to help you reach your goals. Try us out for a year. If you're not happy for any reason, you'll get all of the management and maintenance fee that you paid refunded. This is our 100% satisfaction guarantee. Dial pound 250 on your cell phone and use the keyword talk to Mo to find out more. Again, from your cell phone, dial pound 250, keyword talk to Mo. Satisfaction guarantee doesn't apply to fees and commissions charged by third parties for such things as insurance products or mutual fund redemptions. It also doesn't apply to any market losses which might occur in an account. For additional information regarding this guarantee, please see the disclosure brochure available at the time you enroll or upon request. Compact Asset Management is a registered investment advisor, funds custodian, Fidelity Institutional Wealth Services, member FINRA, SIPC. The best weekly auction is right here in Arizona. It's only a click of the mouse away from great deals on almost everything. Visit liquidateaz.com for weekly auctions on everyday household items, antiques from around the world, sports and non-sports cards, memorabilia and autographs, comic books, comic character collectibles, Native American, pots, jewelry, rugs, and sterling silver. Liquidateaz.com weekly auctions is the place for great deals and works of art. Gold and silver, coins and U.S. currency, gold and sterling jewelry, vintage LP vinyl records, vintage electronics, ham radio, RC cars, planes, and boats. Interested in antique clocks, watches, and timepieces, or a wide variety of sports equipment, including hunting, fishing lures, poles, and gear. How about military collectibles, medals, uniforms, or helmets? All at liquidateaz.com. Looking to liquidate an estate? Liquidateaz.com can help with estate sales and consignment services. Liquidateaz.com for information. We know how it goes. You can't always tune in and hear your favorite shows and hosts. Dude, look, I'm a loser, okay? That's cool, bro. That's why we post podcasts of your favorite shows and hosts. Listen when you want to. Listen on demand. That is great and, frankly, kind of amazing. Go to 1580thefanatic.com to download. Hey, Blatter here on 1580, The Fanatic. Uh, earlier in the show, I mentioned, gee whiz, I wish I'd bet last night uh, because I picked those games absolutely correct. Maybe I'll bet tonight. I'll tell you what, if you haven't tried the online sports betting uh, using your phone or your computer or whatever, uh, maybe now's a good time to do it. Uh, you download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Use promo code BET1580. That's bet 1580. What you do is you bet five dollars on any NBA team to win the play in game during the tournament here, and you get $150 in free bets instantly. That's promo code BET1580 at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. Got to be 21 years or older, Arizona residents only. Gambling problem, 1 800 next step. Uh, this is for new customers only, though. Minimum $5 deposit. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. And if you are an existing DraftKings player like me, uh, you can still have a whole lot of fun with these NBA hoops uh, with the same game parlays. You combine multiple bets from the uh, same game for a bigger payout. The more legs you add, the more money you can win. So remember, DraftKings Sportsbook app, promo code BET1580. All right, so since I was Mr. Perfect with the picks last night, I'm just going to say that even though I think we all agreed on every pick. <laughs> we did. <laughs> we did, didn't we? <laughs> we were Mr. We were the three amigos of Perfect last night. Let's see if we can do it again tonight. <gasps> all right. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, Atlanta Hawks hosting the Charlotte Hornets in a mere 15 minutes. Now, the Atlanta Hawks are heavily favored. What sort of a chance do you give these Hornets uh, there, Keon? I, I give the Hornets some chance, uh, and, and I, uh, the, the Hawks are favored by, you know, five and a half. So I, I think, uh, they, at least from what I'm seeing. So I, I think they're, they're, there's a belief this is going to be a pretty close game because the Hornets are very inconsistent and that has everything to do with the fact that uh they're so young uh the you know lamello ball is their best player they've got miles bridges mikhail bridges his brother uh who's breaking i was wondering about that when i saw him bridges i'm like what yeah no they're brothers and and uh it it shows i mean they're both incredible basketball players and bridges is going to get himself paid uh for the way that he played this season 
Um, but I just think that the Hawks have been here before that they went to the Eastern conference finals a year ago. Trey young is more comfortable than he's ever been. Um, and I know that they're missing John Collins, but they, they have options everywhere when it comes to scoring and playing okay. defense. So, Let's I'm still go the, Hawks. here's what the Hawks are missing. John Collins, uh, Lou Williams, uh, Shondi Brown Jr. And most of Trey Young's hair. So that is what is missing for the Hawks. But <laughs> the Hornets yep, missing yep. Gordon Hayward, but unfortunately still have LaMelo Ball. So that is also a detriment, I think, I, to them. I don't know if it's unfortunately, though, because LaMelo can score in his sleep. I mean, the, I know. I just like dissing on him because they're stupid dad. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, LaMelo's a, 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 of all the brothers, he, he seems like probably not the smartest one. Uh, but which means he'll play great basketball. <laughs> but yeah, he's a he's a natural basketball player. I mean, he scores so easily. Well, uh, Trey Young, by the way, uh, what a season he has had. You're absolutely right, Keon. He became the only the second player in NBA history uh, to lead the league in both total points and assists. Randy, do you know who that other person was? Only two people have done it. Total points and assists. Yes. Only the second player to do it, Trey Young. So who was the person back in the past? Do you remember? Do you remember? Steve, Steve Nash? No, that is incorrect. Uh, Keon, got a guess? Magic? Ke- even a little guess? I was going to give you hints. A little teeny guess? A little tiny guess? Tiny Archibald. Oh. No. Yeah. yeah see, I would have never guessed Tiny Archibald. Yeah, he was very small. 888-368-1580. So tonight. I think we all agree that the Atlanta Hawks should uh, make easy work of the Hornets, right? 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 You say five and a half well, points. I, I mean, feel like it should be a, a larger spread than that. I don't, I don't know about easy work. We'll see. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know about easy work e- either, just because, uh, again, the Hornets can score. It, it's, it, the thing about the Hornets is like, there was a, a point this season, near the, near the end of the season, they were exactly 500. They had given up exactly as many points as they had scored total throughout the season. So it, it could go either way. But I think that when they're playing their best basketball and the, the sense of urgency for this play-in game has to be high, that they, they're a good matchup for the this Hawks team. I, I think it's going to be close, but I still take the Hawks. All right. Raise your hand if it's the Hawks. 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 You're right. You didn't say Hawks. Hawks. I mean, you raised you, your you hand. You said raise your hand. I know, I, I but on the radio, they can't hear hand. you raise your hand. That's why you, you said say raise Hawks. your hand. I know what I said, but then I you mean, saw I, a key I would have said Hawks. Same you, thing. You I don't know why you think it's so damn difficult. Say Hawks. Oh, my God, it. Randy. Uh, repeat after me. Uh, yes, re- raise my hand. Yeah, okay. Raise my hand, okay. See? Hawks. Hawks. Yeah, we all have the Hawks on this one. Uh, all right. So the, then later on, at about 6.30 our time, you've got the San Antonio Spurs, which Randy Ooh. hates, and Ooh. the New Orleans Pelicans, which we're all sort of kind of like, you know, you know what it is? The, the Pelicans as a team, historically, kind of like when you look at them, you get a look in your face. Like if you, if you were to happen to maybe stumble across a platypus in the wild, like what? <laughs> what? what? What is it? It, I can't tell if it's hideous or adorable. I just, what is it? Oh my God. I, I thought they made that up. I didn't think that was a real thing. It's just, it, and I look at the Pelicans the same way. Uh, but in this game, I think I got to give the uh, edge to those guys, not just because Randy hates the Spurs for what they did to Steve Nash back in the day, but I just think the Pelicans are a more well rounded uh, team. Keon? Yeah, I mean, the Pelicans are really well-rounded, but but so are the Spurs, actually. And I think the Spurs might be a, a little bit deeper. The Pelicans started playing really well when they made possibly uh, uh, the best move at the trade deadline by moving and getting C.J. McCollum from the Portland Trailblazers. He's the best player on that team. And uh, of the two teams, I think he's the best player on the floor. But which team is deeper? I think it's San Antonio. Um, and uh, so I'm going to roll with the Spurs on this one. Wow. Okay. And, and now, of course, the spread is five and a half, just like uh, the other game. Uh, and I, I believe it's in favor, though, of the Pelicans. Randy, uh, what do you make of this one? Yeah, you know, uh, I hate to say this, but, uh, you know, Greg Popovich adds uh, to this team, especially around playoff time. This is a, a big game for the uh, for the Spurs. Uh, I'll, I'll have to go with the San Antonio cheaters, uh, dirtbags. I'll have to Ugh. go with the dirtbags. 
All right, the over-under on this game is 224. Is that too high, too low? What are you taking, over-under? I'm going over. I'm going over, too. The, the, these aren't great defensive teams. Okay. Um, I guess I'm, I'm alone in the world uh, going with the Pelicans tonight. I don't mind that at all. Uh, the other game, the over-under is 235 and a half. Uh, where the Hawks uh, and the Hornets, uh, what do you think? Is there more defense involved there? Is that uh, – too high, too low. What do you say, over or under? I kind of feel under on that, to be honest. I I, I think under two, um, ju- uh, just because yeah. I, I I do think that the Hawks are actually legitimately a solid defensive team. They're not great. They're not the higher end of the league, but they play really good defense. The Hornets don't. But, uh, you know, if this is one of those gets out of hand early, I, I don't know how you get to that uh, over. Gotcha. 888-368-1580. Let's go to the text line. Uh, Mr. Wilbur says, but Randy's trying to say about the Pelicans versus the Spurs game is, who gives a rat's ass? You know what? Go Suns. Okay, yeah. calm down, Wilbur. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. We all feel the That's same exactly way. exactly the damn thing I'm trying Go to say Go right Suns. Yeah. But yeah. we got to figure out, you know, what teams are going to be there when we get towards the end. So, it bears mentioning, boy, you guys criticize. You criticize if I do too much man talk. You criticize if I talk about too much sports. The hell do you people want from us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Kidding. Don't care. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. Senior Wake Bake says, you think LaMelo Ball is relu- related maybe to Lucille Ball? Well, it's a fact. It's a yeah. fact that he's a great yeah. grandson of, La- of Lucille Ball. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, I don't even know why you're asking that. Uh, smoke another bowl. Uh, yeah, Moist One says, I don't think those bridges are related. I believe. Okay. Hold on. Well, if they, if anybody on the show can say they're brothers and be right either way, it's Keon. Uh, let's see. Uh, Mars bars. Eight Oh five says, can we please get a weather report? Randy. A weather report. Yeah. You know, those chief <laughs> meteorologist, Randy white. Well, I mean, sure. Uh, from the 1580, the fanatic weather center, chief meteorologist, Randy white to reporting. Uh, beautiful skies, uh, beautiful conditions. Uh, Chamber of Commerce, 75 right now in the West Valley. Last good, uh, cool day of the year, right? 74 downtown Phoenix and out uh, in Scottsdale, 73 degrees. Sunshine is the name of the game for the next couple of days. We've got some clouds coming in on Friday with a high around 89. Uh, cloudy on Saturday, 89. 92 on Sunday in sunshine. And uh, it's going to get up to the mid-90s once again. But do I see a cooling trend? You'll have to stay tuned and find Ooh, out. I hope so. From the 1580, the Fanatic Weather Center, Chief Meteorologist Randy White. Back to you, Jeff Cope. All right, Keon, what have you learned about the bridges? Nah, I just completely put my foot in it. The bridges is not related. But the thing is, I was curious before. Yeah, but you can say they're brothers. brothers. And you I can. I mean, I can. Because they're brothers. I just, I, just wouldn't, I just wouldn't be correct. I, <laughs> I, look, I looked it up when I, uh, you know, a while ago because I was curious. And I swear I found something that said they were brothers. So... That was in the in the memory bank, and I guess that was an incorrect whatever I read. So, hmm. <laughs> correction. Wow, you know what we you know, but usually <laughs> on this show we ignore that and move on. We don't even admit to <laughs> well, it. So, props to you for that. Yeah, no, somebody brought it up, and so you figure, yeah, no, got to admit it. Admit when you're wrong. Ukla says, uh, "Hey, radio pal. Hey, Randy. Shut hey. the hell up, Keon. You Texan hater." Wow, you still won't let go of that. Wait, am I? W- do I hate the Texans? Texans? I mean, they're, I think don't, you don't said get me something wrong. honest about them, and he thinks yeah. now you hate them. They're terrible, yeah. but that—that's just a fact. Yeah, like, I don't. I don't hate them. That's well documented. As it's in the Bible. I mean, that's how bad it is. Texas. Yeah. He says, by the way, getting cataract surgery tomorrow, so you may not see me for a while. No, back. It's the other way around. If you're going to be you, cataract, you won't you're see not us. You won't see us. <laughs> uh, Fish Tank says. A reason to root for the Pelicans is that they traded Anthony Davis to the Lakers and the Lakers. <laughs> They're not in the playoffs and the Pelicans at least made the play in game. Mm. Mm-hmm. True. Let's go Pelicans. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Because it's <laughs> Lakers. Burning out Lakers. Wow, and that's yeah. all, folks. Good cat says, ha, 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 the Lakers didn't make the playoffs. <laughs> uh, Randy Shuckle says, I don't know, but you guys, I can't stop laughing thinking about the Mission Impossible hockey pinata lady coming down. 888 368 1580. So, all right, uh, now we have uh, looked at these games, we have made our picks, and 
uh, I guess now we get to see what happens next. Uh, in just mere moments, somewhere out there, the Charlotte Hornets are going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks. And uh, I wish I could say here on 1580 the Fanatics, we all have the rest of the day off, but no. I don't think that's going to happen. So, oh, well. Mm. Anyway, uh, all right, guys, uh, when we do come back, you're going to talk a little baseball. That's right. Some things happened uh, yesterday and today in the world of baseball. I, uh, I'm afraid to even look, see how the Dimebacks are doing up against the Astros. Well, they were leading one nothing. One. Now it's, wait, I believe what? it's 2-1 right now. Well, I'm showing 1-1, one, one, but I don't trust the source. So if you see 2-1, I believe you. Uh, right now it shows bottom of the ninth, one out, and it is 1-1. One, one. Oh, Dimebacks yeah. and Astros. Yeah, I think you're right. I think we all know how that's going to go. So, you know. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, the Fanatic. Hi, this is Nick LaCapria with the Daily Sports Quiz. The Dallas Cowboys have become an American favorite in football, but it wasn't always that way. The Cowboys lost every single game in their first NFL season. Do you know what team the Cowboys defeated to win their very first game? Nick LaCapria's Daily Sports Quiz brings you a different question from the world of sports each day. If you want even more questions from the world of sports, visit Nick LaCapria's new website, sportstrivia.org. You can test your sports trivia knowledge and get answers to some great questions from the world of sports trivia sports trivia.org it's free it's fun and it's challenging if you'd like the daily sports quiz you'll love sports trivia.org the answer to today's daily sports quiz name the team the dallas cowboys defeated to win their first game ever the pittsburgh steelers the cowboys are relatively new to the nfl they broke in in the 1960 season lost every game and then defeated the steelers i'm nicola capria with your daily sports quiz if you're an IT professional looking for an opportunity with great benefits and the freedom to creatively solve problems in a career with great growth potential and a team environment, look no further than Affinity Technology. Serving the Valley since 1992, Affinity Technology is looking for a level one tech to develop and deliver excellent solutions and outstanding customer service. Visit ATECHAZ.com forward slash jobs and get started with your future today. That's ATECHAZ.com forward slash jobs. Where are those receipts? Tax day is nearly here. And Chanel is stressing. Why do I always wait to the last minute? Her small business needs a bookkeeper to crunch some big numbers. All these spreadsheets make my head spin. None of this adds up. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Our hiring platform instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Did you know that Constructors Bonding has been Arizona's leader in surety management for over 40 years? Hi, this is Dave McKee, president of Constructors Bonding, inviting you to learn how our team can deliver better bonding than anyone, anywhere. Contractors, developers, attorneys, car dealers, and hundreds of other industries turn to Constructors Bonding for their bond solutions. Call me personally at 602-432-5929 to learn how Constructors Bonding is your solution for better bonding. Business people like it straight and to the point. So here it is. Bruce Jacobs here to tell you take control of your utility expenses by calling Harmon Solar right now. They can save up to 80% on that monthly electric bill with zero down and no payments for 12 months. Level your energy costs. Protect yourself from inflation. How's that for straight and to the point? Here's more. Harmon Solar is a local family-owned company that uses top-of-the-line equipment. Call Harmon Solar, 800-281-3189 or go to HarmonSolar.com. KQFN Tempe. Also transmitting on K25CD Phoenix at 99.3 FM. And K24EU Fallon Hills at 95.9 FM. All right, people, settle down. Because it's time. Time for what? Showtime. When does it start? Right now. Three, two, one. Let's get on with the show. Let's do it. All right, everybody, it's 4 o'clock here on the Daily Blender. I'm your good friend, your radio pal, Jeffrey O'Brien, alongside Randy White. Got Keon Rose in the control room. You guys are on the Fanatic text line, 888-368-1580. And, uh, yeah, I wonder how long this is going to drag out. The uh, Diamondbacks are tied up with the uh, Astros. Uh, it's the bottom of the ninth, and, well, we'll see how long this takes. But, uh, yeah, Boomer Sooner says, just heard the Diamondbacks drew – 12,000 a day for a 1241st pitch. The roof was open. 
Now, is that good or bad, you think? I mean, how what what has past performance been like? You think, Randy? Is twelve thousand well, people it, low, or it's it's a twelve thousand is a pretty good draw today, uh, middle of the week, uh, twelve forty pitch. Okay, yeah, it's a pretty good crowd for uh, the Diamondbacks. Got to keep in mind that stadium is is cavernous; it can seat uh, over forty thousand in there. So, yeah. well, they're uh, having more fun than we are because we are <laughs> broadcasting live from the Harmon Solar Studio in Scottsdale. The roof is closed. Eight 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 three six eight fifteen eighty. Ken Kitten says, hey, Randy, after a long hour of looking for work, yeah. I'm going to need me a beer. Oh, no, King Kittens. What do you mean? Looking for work because you can't stand your new job or did some, some bad things happen? Sorry about that, man. Mm. Uh, Senior Wake and Bake says, like Keon and his cousin Axel. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. Just. No. I really. Oh, because you thought Mikhail Bridges mm-hmm. and. Mm-hmm. what's the other guy's name miles miles bridges were yeah. related so have you met him met, 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 met. yeah i'm speaking in tongues today yes, uh, you are. <laughs> heavy metal maniac said today's crowd was small but sold a lot of beers oh so you at the park right now heavy metal maniacs that's awesome um so for for a, a middle of the week game heavy metal maniac that's that's a small crowd what, what do you usually see out there uh, Moist one says they had a buy one get one deal on Dimebacks tickets too. You know, are you being a wise ass or is that even true? So, I don't know. I don't know why I'm even. I don't want to talk about. Well, that I mean, if it's twelve thousand, that's middle of the day yeah. for a one and one and four team playing noise. against the Astros. Sure, sure, sure. Pretty good. I think it's pretty good a crowd for the Diamondbacks. Boogie says it's a little known fact that before crowbars were invented, crows had to drink at home. Uh, thank you, Dad. Uh, I'm really sorry, the Dad. I heard jokes? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna ban Dad jokes. We'll start like if you say a Dad joke on the text line, none of your texts get read for like a day. Yeah. You give another infraction; it's a week, and another infraction; it's a month, another infraction; it's a year. Which basically means you jackasses just get a burner phone anyway. But whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, no Dad jokes. Please. Hey, uh, today I, I want to give some congratulations to uh, Alyssa Nacken. I, I think that's the way she says her name. But uh, yeah. uh, with the uh, with the, the Giants, uh, she became the <laughs> first woman uh, to coach <laughs> on the field in a regular season Major League Baseball game because yep. uh, there was a, a, a misunderstanding. There was a kerfuffle between uh, 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 you know uh, Schilt and and Richardson. And it, it, somebody thought, ooh, they thought, well, maybe that was a racist thing. Maybe it wasn't. Uh, they, they talked it out. They hugged it out. Then they realized it's just big misunderstanding. And uh, so then, you know, they were able to move on. But the, I think the biggest focus is the milestone that was broken when Alyssa Nacken became the first woman to coach on the field in a regular season Major League Baseball game. That's pretty awesome. That's yeah, really awesome. I, I, I was watching part of the game last night. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. So, uh, yeah, I and mean, she even uh, understands how important that is. She says, you know, when she was a kid, she says, coaching, I never saw it. This job has kind of been hidden for so long. I'm so excited to be in this role for the challenge and the opportunity to make an impact for the organization, but also excited now that girls can see there is a job on the field in baseball, and it's really cool. So, well, you know, here's a question for you guys, and, and uh, you know, I, I mean well. <laughs> um, is it possible to ever have a woman play in the Major League Baseball? It, why wouldn't they allow it if a girl is really good? I don't know of any restrictions. I mean, if, uh, you know, if she has all the talents and abilities, why wouldn't she be able to play on the field? The problem is, is there's no, there's no, at this point in time that I know of, there's no women's uh, baseball league mm, yeah. that is like an advanced baseball league where it's like college or minor league baseball. And, I wonder and, why and, not. And softball is different enough that just right. because you're great at softball doesn't mean you're great at baseball and vice versa. I mean, we've seen major, right. uh, you know, hitters go up against top softball pitchers and the ball, the rotation is different. The size of the ball is different. Everything is different. So just th- they're thrown off by it. Innocent well, question. Yeah. Uh, why don't they have women's baseball? Why is it softball? I, I just I, I don't know if it's uh, if it's something that uh, somebody has not ventured out to try to do start a, a women's baseball league. I, we've got women's hockey now, mm-hmm. uh, so I would I would uh, venture to say uh, 
you know, if you can get a league started, you can get some guys together, some people together, I mean, uh, and then get uh, teams organized and get some players on the teams and you can start a league and, and uh, take off and be successful, then, yeah. you know, more power to you. This isn't like uh, basketball where uh, the dudes are taller. This isn't like football uh, where it, the speed and physicality of it is just uh, beyond uh, what I think a lot of gals could do. I'm sure there are some who could play it. I'm not saying they can't. Uh, but baseball seems like it would be a great equalizer. Uh, you've seen the lack of physical uh, in shapedness uh, of a lot of the players in baseball. I mean, the young guys, everybody's in shape, but you know. Uh, Roberto Cologne rings a bell. Uh, there's a lot of guys that are out there that, you know, ain't in any kind of shape. So if, if they can, if they can swing the bat and then hit the ball and they can play the field and throw the ball, I mean, I feel like baseball would be a logical place for, for the gals to come and play with the guys. Well, I mean, the, the training field for women is the softball field, uh, it's shorter. Uh, it's, uh, uh, the ball is is larger. Uh, it is played with shorter uh, base lengths, uh, a shorter fence. That does not mean to me uh, where I'm sitting that you could not get, you know, women on the baseball field. Uh, but but the but the girls are being brought up to play softball. It, it, now I, I do see a resurgent in a lot of girls playing little league. Uh, I don't know of that many girls playing in high school ball. And I don't know of any girls playing in college ball. It's usually at some point there, there's a, there's a Y in the road and, and the girls uh, go towards softball. So right now I'm getting uh, heckled uh, for saying Roberto Cologne. Well, uh, like uh, Keon said, uh, they have brothers and uh, <laughs> Roberto is Bartolo Cologne's brother. Fight me. 888-368-1580. Thank you. Moe's fun. Uh, Last Optimus says softball created as baseball replacement for women to satisfy Title IX sports requirements. Okay, I'm going to pause you on that. Is that factual? I don't know if that's a factual statement that softball yeah, was yeah. created no. for that. Because I don't because no, it, it so. doesn't have to. What what has to happen in Title IX is there has to be as many women's sports as men's sports. So there doesn't have to be, they didn't have to make softball to make Title IX match. You could have done any other women's sport and it would have worked out. So I don't yeah. know that that's necessarily true. Women's softball has been around for a long, long time. Yeah. But, you know, because they gravitate towards the softball and there is no baseball, you are right about that last optimist. There is no feeder system for women in baseball. Dick Whiskers says, who is the Washington Nationals position player that had to pitch at the end of the game the other night? Some of the funniest stuff I've ever seen in a baseball game. Oh, I don't, I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, Keon's not watching his own horrible team. We're not watching the Diamondbacks. Well, well, what do you want well I, 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 I want to watch them, but they're on while, while we're here usually. So I, I don't get to see them as much, uh, as much as I'd like to. And some of this, a lot of this team is so young with a lot of prospects that have just been brought up. I, I don't know all the guys yet. <laughs> Randy's chuckle says, I bet Hope Solo could wail on some balls. <laughs> Sorry, that cracked me up. Uh, Hattie Lefty says, is Roberto Colon uh, related to Bartolo Colon, like Keon is with Axel? Yes, everybody's related. In fact, they're related to each other. Uh, Heavy Metal Maniacs clarifies, says at the, uh, at, the, uh, you know, at the park there, it was a normal small crowd for a day game in the middle of a week. Beer sales were terrific. And he says, I'm already done for the day. So there you go. Went in there, made his money, says it was a, so 10,000 is a normal a uh, uh, small crowd for a day game in the middle of the week. All right, there you go. Wilbur says, Jeffrey, I don't mean to throw water on your idea, but if you think the Diamondbacks, uh, I've only sold uh, 108,000 tickets for 81 season a game. How many tickets do you think a woman's baseball league would sell? Well, more than the Diamondbacks, probably. Uh, <laughs> Fish Tank says, the pitcher was D. Gordon Strange. I promise you that was his name. Uh, Moist one says, yeah, D Gordon, uh, boogie says softball is a different game. With that being said, girls are pushed to softball in the middle, uh, middle school and high school ages. Yes. That, and like I said, there's a, there's a Y in the road and, uh, uh girls no longer play with the, uh, the guys on the baseball field. I mean, yeah, uh, they they move towards softball. I think that, uh, I think that they should, uh, give the gals a chance to, to play actual baseball. 
So, you know, if there's no feeder league, there's no place, then they should allow them to play in high school uh, baseball. If they're good enough, they play. If they're not, they don't. Simple well, as that. Well, I don't, I just, yeah, I don't just know like, that there's been any women that have been, that have wanted to play high school baseball. If there were, I, I, there's been several instances of women playing high school football. Because yeah. so, I mean, because yeah. if you start playing softball when you say you're a kid, right? Elementary school, um, uh, middle school, the, the way you, for instance, pitch a softball is just, it's an underhand pitching. It's a different, everything about that game is different. So the rotation of the ball means that it's more likely to go up than down when you see it coming at you. So when you get to high school and you want to try out for, for baseball, you already don't have the skill set that a lot of these guys have been working on because they've been playing baseball while you were playing softball. Well, I mean, but with that, I've, I've seen girls play in the little league programs and they're hitting the baseball that is pitched from a, from a mound. I mean, granted, it's not at the velocity that you're seeing in, in, uh, you know, uh, upper level high school or, you know, college. I, I, I hear that, but the, but the level, the, the velocity of that ball coming at you from a uh, pitcher's mound on a girl's softball field is, is, uh, is incredibly fast. And I, I don't think Keon that there would be that much uh, of a, a difference watching a baseball from up here Rather than, than uh, you know, you just got to train your eye to watch where the baseball is coming from. Uh, the delivery point up here compared to a delivery point down by the hip. I mean, I, yeah, I, just, I, I think the rest of the game, yeah, the bases are longer. The field is bigger. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, but I, I, think, I think women could – I believe that girls and, and women could get involved in baseball pretty easy. They're, they're, they're capable saying. of it if, if they were to see those kinds of pitches, enough of them. You know and, what I mean? And maybe with Alyssa Nacken going out there, standing on the field and being seen, uh, some little girl get an idea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some well, just I mean, seeing yeah. them in the uh, in the uniform. And I, I think there was a, there's enough uh, similarities between baseball and softball. Otherwise, you wouldn't see mm-hmm. Alyssa Nacken out there uh, uh, being a first base uh, coach. There's no way the major league team would put her out there unless she knew what she, what the hell she was doing. Caliban's cousin wants to straighten it out for uh, last Optimus. He says softball was created in 1887. Title nine was created in 1972. Yeah. Uh, Randy's yeah. chuckle says there should be a better system for women baseball players. I once played with a girl who could. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, P standing up further than I could in little league. Uh, she was a badass. I think that was a saying. I, I, oh, I really hope boy. he didn't mean literally. Uh, Lost Toby says, Dimebag's really trying to ruin my parlay right now. Haven't heard y'all uh, this week. I've been buried at work. I've missed the show. Well, we've missed you, Lost Toby, and uh, glad you get to take a moment for yourself here. Hefty Lefty, I thought the same thing when I heard Randy say it. He says, a Y chromosome in the road, Randy? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here comes Senior Wakenbake. Yeah, hell yeah. Women's Lingerie Baseball League. Yeah, I'm a future season ticket holder. See, they know mm. what's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to, yeah. We, we don't have. We don't have to do all that. Boomer Sooner says, ooh, well, I'm looking at a live feed on the Facebook there. Randy, did you get the beard all trimmed up on the hair there, trimmed there with all the uh, – everything's trimmed. He says, you're looking I- – Facial trimmed, your hair's trimmed, your weight looks trimmed. You're looking good on camera there, bud. Well, well, thank you. Thank hey. you. The camera does that 10 pounds. Keep that and in Boomer, mind. He's a married man. So, you know, try not to try not to embarrass him by hitting on him. His mm. wife might be listening. It's not uh, an embarrassment, Boomer. Mm. Randy's chuckle says, uh, no, literally, I even asked her how she did it. And uh, I passed that on to my granddaughter so she could do that over by the pool. Okay. Jesus Christ. people. <laughs> Why are you letting your kids be outside? That is just, why? Why would you do that? I just, mm. I know what you're going for. Yeah. If it were me, yeah. I would have kept that to myself. I mean, <laughs> if it were me. If if I had a house, uh, in fact, I, you know, uh, I'm looking at some land, and there's this uh, uh, land available where there's land, and then there's a uh, brush, and then there's a river. And if that's where you were sending her off, like down the property to do but in your own backyard over there against the fence because then you can jump back in the pool yeah it's not that's yeah it's not i just well you know you teach your kids what you want to teach your kids but i it's yeah you're not allowed to come to my pool ever ever uh (laughs) big george says i have no problem with women playing in baseball it'll happen in the near future oh it sounds like it's not going to there's no way of getting them there he says, I've seen Futurama and Leela became the first female to play in professional leagues. 
well, that's like a, a thousand years in the mm-hmm. future or something. So mm-hmm. none, none of us are going to be allowed to see that. Mm-hmm. Oh, last optimist, don't apologize. He's apologizing for for the incorrect information. Have you heard the show? Because. <laughs> Yeah, he says, uh, that is what I read a few years back. I guess I was mistaken. The point that women are dedicated to softball for high school college over baseball kills that pipeline. Yeah, that's yeah, we agree yeah. with you. And yeah. that's a shame. It, I don't know why they suddenly diverge into here. Go hit this giant yellow thing. <laughs> We're going to keep hitting well, the regular I, baseballs. I mean, you, you remember the movie A League of Their Own. I mean, mm-hmm. okay, that oh, was yeah. based on actual uh, women's professional yeah. baseball. They were bad So uh, women have played professional baseball in the past. Problem is, uh, it didn't last for whatever reason. Uh, it wasn't enough. Uh, you know, there wasn't enough funding. There wasn't enough The uh, men interest. came back from war, and then uh, they all had to become housewives because that was the culture then. Well, that's, that's the thing. And so I, I still believe if if there was some, uh, you know, group of entrepreneurs that could put together, you know, a, a, a minor league of women's baseball, and then it would probably grow from there. You know, you would start here small, kind of build on the league, uh, start to get known. Some of these ladies would come out, transition from the softball ranks, come out, play baseball. And I think it would grow, grow from there, especially right now in, in these days and times. Sure. Absolutely. There's well, so many talented women out there that are playing softball that, you know, when it comes to the end, and if you're not on the Olympic team, you, you know, your career's done. Bruno Baller just wants you all to know, <laughs> Peppermint Patty, she was good at baseball. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, Randy's chuckle says, well, it's better than letting them pee in the pool. Uh, mm-hmm. well, you, have them yeah. towel off, go yeah. in the house. But again, it's uh, your life, man. Yeah. I can tell you what to do. Fish Tank says, I pee in the backyard all the time. Isn't that normal? Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> if I come to your house... I'm not going past the garage. (laughs) Just not. Uh, Lost Toby says he's been busy doing workplace harassment prevention trainings. Uh, mm. And you listen to this show. Yeah, Lost Toby, you just keep your mouth shut because I don't need Keon to hear uh, whatever it is you're going to spew. All right. You mind your own business. You you keep your workplace harassment prevention at your own work. Huh. Don't you get any ideas, Keon? <laughs> <laughs> if I catch you YouTubing uh, workplace har- uh, harassment prevention, eh, we're going to have problems. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just I didn't say anything about the animal porn I found on your computer. So uh, but what? that right there, that right there <laughs> might be a problem. The what? I'm kidding, of course, <laughs> but I won't say the name. Is a famous uh, Valley uh, radio, guy, but we've, we've, we caught him looking at a horse uh, a porn on a computer at a radio station in the past. This was uh, like two stations back. Not kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. A famous conservative talk show host from the past. Uh, he has passed himself, but yes, we did. We mm. found a lot of horse porn. To the great uh, horse ranch in this guy, eh? Yeah, and and, and as he would uh, often say, good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. We'll be back after this. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Finding great candidates to hire can be like, well, trying to find a needle in a haystack. Sure, you can post your job to some job board, but then all you can do is hope the right person comes along, which is why you should try ZipRecruiter for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on candidates finding you. Its powerful technology identifies people with the right experience and actively invites them to apply to your job. You get qualified candidates fast. So while other companies might deliver a lot of hay, ZipRecruiter finds you what you're looking for. The needle in the haystack. Four out of five employers who post a job on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site within the first day. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. And right now you can try ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to this exclusive web address, ziprecruiter.com slash free. That's ziprecruiter.com slash free. Ziprecruiter.com slash free. Where are those receipts? Tax day is nearly here. And Chanel is stressing. Why do I always wait to the last minute? Her small business needs a bookkeeper to crunch some big numbers. Oh, these spreadsheets make my head spin. None of this adds up. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Our hiring platform instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. 
Hey everybody, Mark Asher, back to tell you about my great friends over at the Lund Mortgage Team. Are you seeing what is going on in the home buying market right now? Unbelievable. Not enough inventory and there is a ton of demand. Some of these homes are getting 30, 40, 50 offers on them. How are you going to stand out? How are you going to differentiate yourself from the other buyers who are in line? I have a way. Use the Lund Mortgage Team. Lund Mortgage Team is locally owned and operated with over 20 years of experience right here in the Valley. They have a great reputation and it is a trustworthy pre-approval. And on top of that, they are quick. That's one of the things you got to come equipped and be ready to buy. So what you need to do is make that first phone call to 623-875-9940. That's 623-875-9940. Get that pre-approval going and then get yourself ready to go buy that home of your dreams. Go online, lundmortgageteam.com or call 623-875-9940. The Rams were built to win the Super Bowl. Los Angeles Rams have won Super Bowl 56. But if you think that brought the end of the NFL season, you'd better think again. The NFL is a year-round beast, and we keep you in the know. Free agency, trades, retirements, hirings, firings, holdouts, injuries, training camps, and a whole lot more. Football is always in season here. We are 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic. Your home for football. Hey, the blender here on 1580, the fanatic, no big George, that's not who that was. <laughs> I'm not going to read off names of people you're going to guess. Uh, anyways, uh, 888-368-1580. If you didn't get it immediately from what I said, you will never get it, and that's fine. 888-368-1580. Boomer Sooner says, Jeffrey, sound a little uh, paranoid there, my friend. HR is down the hallway. Uh, HR is right here. 888-368-1580. So, uh, all right. All we got done in the last segment was congratulating uh, the Giants, Alyssa Nacken, for becoming the first woman to coach in the field. Uh, we have, uh, you know, another uh, bit of congratulations. Congratulations to Philadelphia Phillies, Alec Bohm. Bomb is a bomb or bomb? I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, but uh, they, uh, the, the, the Philadelphia Phillies love him. Uh, the, the fans, they love him. Even though he said, I effing hate this place as he walked off the field. They embraced that and gave him a standing ovation the night after because they hate that place too. That's the <laughs> thing people got to figure out. Yeah. Everyone in Philadelphia effing hates that place. So he said it. It was the truth. They're like, what a breath of fresh air. Plus, <laughs> he's a good player. He just had a bad night. Uh, so they gave him the standing ovation right before he grounded out. But uh, he's like, yeah, that was really cool. I appreciated it. And uh, he says, all they seem to want is transparency. We all want the same thing. So uh, everybody, uh, he, you know, he said what he said. He kind of gave an apology. Uh, and the people of Philadelphia who threw batteries at Santa Claus have embraced Alec. I think it was snowball at Santa Claus. They threw batteries. At Snowballs? There are batteries in the snowballs. Really? Did they throw batteries at? I thought they threw batteries. Well, I knew they, 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 they were, were chucking batteries on the ball field uh, uh, at their own players in some cases. Yeah, yeah, I might be mixing my metaphors or true stories. I don't know. Something's getting uh, dicey. But uh, but that's so. this is how the fit, uh, city of Philadelphia is. And I I remember watching uh, you know cl I mean the clip's been on YouTube forever at the time Bill Burr was was in Philadelphia, uh, and All they right. they started off booing him and so he just trashed the city of philadelphia and the more he kept going it the booze turned into cheers he well, turned the, the crowd around right. the booze turned the cheers and then they went back to booze again and it's like <laughs> they were like okay you're up he didn't stop he, like, no. once they started clapping he would relent he's like no no i'm doing my entire time just crapping on you people and he went zoop, right yeah. back down the toilet yeah he was and he uh, he was just hell-bent on doing that and they trashed him some more and then went five minutes and then continued mm -hmm. to trash him for another five minutes it was beautiful well, but that's what they're like you know you, you understand though how it works as a comedian you don't get paid by the laugh you get paid by the minute you have a certain <laughs> amount of time that you're supposed to fill and if you don't fill that you don't get paid so he's like okay this is what it's going to be i'm going to punish you you're not going to punish me and that's exactly what he did that's just an epic uh moment now of course probably not going to get asked back mm -hmm. but i guess at that point he didn't care <laughs> who blames him so uh yeah figuring out philadelphia ain't hard 
so anyway, so that was a, a happy ending to that story. I don't know if the Cincinnati Reds president, Phil uh, Castellini, is going to get the happy ending for his story. You know, as we've heard, sell the team, whoever owns the team. Uh, you've heard, sell the team, Sarver. Sell the team, the uh, fat Santa Claus looking guy whose name I can't remember who owns the nine. <coughs> What's his name? Ken Kendricks. Thank you. Uh, mm. uh, you know, uh, this guy mm. heard sell the team Castellini and he came back and he's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Where are you going to go? Huh? Hey, well, let's start there. I mean, uh, sell the team to who? That's the other thing. You want to have this debate, huh? Hey, if you want to look at, uh, you know, what you would do with this team to have it be more profitable, make more money, compete more in a current economic system that this game exists in, it would be to pick it up and move it somewhere else. So be careful what you ask for. Hmm. So today he apologized. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Naturally. And, uh, but I don't think people are going to forgive him. Like they uh, forgave the kid in uh, Philadelphia. Uh, he's like, I apologize to the Reds fans. I regret some of the comments I made earlier today. We love this city. We love this team. We love our fans. I understand how the fans feel. And I'm sorry. Cause one is an attack on the fans and, and the other one wasn't really. You know, um, the, the, the kind of the, the nature of Philadelphia being as aggressive as it is. Sometimes it just it just really stinks as a player, especially if you're not performing very well. But if you own the damn team, when you start talking about we're going to take the team and move it. Well, now you're just telling the fans you don't give a damn about. it. Well, how do you handle it? You got the fans that are criticizing you, yelling at you, saying to uh, sell the team. Uh, what should your response be? You don't say, don't anything. say anything. Yeah. Just you don't, don't say anything. No. You, you already own the team mm. and you've got billions of dollars. What do you, you've got their money, you know, mm. just keep inside. <laughs> you idiot. Uh, you know, that song, uh, uh, you know, I hope it gives you hell. Remember that they, uh, I don't know, some, some turdy little 20, two thousand. Yeah. 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 Well, that's mm -hmm. the thing, uh, you know, for him, he's super duper rich. He owns the team. No matter what happens next, mm. he doesn't have to worry about where his next meal goes. But a lot of the guys yelling, sell the team. Uh, may not have that same thing. So that, if I'm that guy, that's how I'm feeling. Now, here's what he, he said. He, again, he was really uh, unhappy. He says, listen, uh, we're no more pleased with the results than the fans. I'm not sitting here saying anybody should be happy. I'm not polishing trophies in the office right now. And that's what we are here to do. Uh, but the bottom line is I do think we've had uh, to shift the discipline. We tried a lot of things that didn't work and they came this close to working, but didn't, but nobody's got to tell me they didn't work. Uh, and he says, uh, so I, I think we all learn from those things, but trust me, uh, the, our GM is on a mission. He's a bull in a China shop. He's basically saying we're, we're doing things. We're trying things, but we know when they don't work and uh, we're just as frustrated. Uh, and I, you, know, you can't blame a guy coming from the right place if that's where he's coming from for feeling that but the best response in those situations is no response because because winning winning will fix that because it's mm -hmm. not because it, it's it's the whole organization top to bottom gets criticized that way players get criticized that way when the team's not performing it's just sometimes you look at the team and go the guy at the top is the reason why we're not winning and whether or not that's true you got to put a product out there that people can cheer for, or they're going to find something to boot. But let me tell you why this didn't win over anybody, uh, his comments uh, or his apology. It wasn't a guy saying, sell the team Castellini that got him on this tirade. All it was, was he was on the radio uh, before the home opener and a fan asked him, so things have been great. Why should we maintain our trust in you? That was the question, not sell the team a hole. <laughs> it was a fair question. Mm. So it's like, okay, we've gotten this far. Why should we trust it? Uh, and, and he went nuts on him. So uh, oh, understanding so frustration of sell the team, uh, Castellini. Yes. Uh, this guy just asking an honest question. No, unless he said it like, well, I see what you trust. Yeah. And, and <sighs> even then you just, an you could just answer the question. The, the with what was in your apology if you had just said that in the first place you're not in any trouble at all and of course you know if, i don't know i don't I, know if i own if i own the team and everybody's criticizing me i'm doing the best job i can I, my response is going to be bite me we're doing the best i can <laughs> that would have been better that would have been it, a great it, response by an owner bite me we're doing the best I'm we not, can i'm it, not sitting in my been. uh in my overstuffed chair in my office, uh, counting a million dollars, I, I just bite me. We're doing the best we can. 
it's just that that's got to be true for everybody. You know, you play, you know it, if it, a player you know, said that or a coach said he, that, has he made changes? Has he made changes to the, you know, to the team? Has he made changes to the managerial process? Has he made changes to the, you know, it's not like Ken Kendricks who hasn't done a damn thing brings the mm-hmm. same people in. That's been, uh, you know, failing for the last two seasons and he's still doing the same thing. I, I would expect to, somebody to say that to Ken Kendricks. Hell, I might be the one. If I see him, sell a team, Kendricks. Randy Chuckle says, happy endings, polishing trophies. What? It's like, I think you guys might need a day off. Mm. Oh, my God, this grind. Ever since the March Madness ended, you realize we have to be yeah. here every day yeah. for a full three hours? <sighs> it's been almost a full two weeks now. What did I say before the show the other day, uh, yesterday? I, I was like, how's it only Tuesday? And I, <laughs> there were some expletives, but yeah, it was just like, when you realize it's only Tuesday, uh, it, it feels like a betrayal. Uh, of the well, calendar. it is Wednesday now. A little bit. It's, it's slightly better, Randy. Slightly <laughs> better that it's Wednesday. Uh, Boogie says, I was in a sports bar last night and I saw Minnesota win what appeared to be the NBA championship. Uh, Beverly looked like it was game seven of the finals. The, the NBA postseason was Jesus, a lot shorter this year. Didn't see that coming. Yeah, it was just a bizarre experience. I mean, Carl Anthony Towns was on the sideline uh, hugging his girlfriend uh, or or his significant other. I, I just Or just some random uh, gal, gal from the crowd. I, I, I don't think so, but, you know... It, Come on. What, what game was what game did you just play? You played the game that got you the seventh seed. Try to act like you've been there. Uh, Big, up three to two in the bottom of the 10th race. Ooh, we might win a game. Uh, Big George says, okay, bro. Now, neither of the guys you're guessing are the guy I was talking about. <laughs> and no good cat wasn't him either. <laughs> Plus plays. Sends a link and a lot of gibberish. I don't know what you're trying to send me, but I'm not mm. clicking on the link, my friend. Mm. Uh, Lost Toby says, I'm a certified harasser now. I took uh, workplace uh, harassment prevention training, so I'm certified. As mm. long as you do it right, Lost Toby, you know, mm. do it right. Mm. Uh, Mr. Pringle says, Dime Bags win. Is that official? I don't have it up on my screen right here. And... Yeah, it's not showing officials. Shows there's still there's only there's still one more out going there. Um, no, no, I guess our my feed is slower because now George has said Diamondbacks have beaten the Astros in extra innings, three to two. So there you go. Seth Beer single in the tenth scored Sergio Alcantara, and uh, then Kettle uh, Marte walked. Uh, so that brought in the uh, winning run on a sacrifice fly. Well done. All right. So there you go. See what's going to happen there, Randy. We're going to the World Series. How about that? Damn right. Now, I wish the Diamondbacks would celebrate like it was the World Series, you know, in honor of the Timberwolves. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, when your team is bad, sometimes you just, every win means that much more. Ukla says, gee whiz, horrible. How do you do it, Radio Pal? What a trooper. Two whole weeks of work. Well, we can have so far, but yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to make it. Uh, Fish Tank says, Jeffrey, you realize that it's 3-2 Diamondbacks in the bottom of the 10th. They've won. Uh, Well, no, but my thing was showing only two out. Oh, that's it. Yeah, two out. That's why. I got – shut up, Fish Tank. Uh, Missile Hayes uh, says, thank you, uh, Mr. Pringle, for all the sports update. By the way, all that urine talk earlier reminds me of the great song by Jake Giles Band called – can I say that? See, here's the thing. There's a weird thing about that word. I can say pissed off. But I can't say that on. That is actually a true thing. So you got to be careful. You can't say that somebody blanked on something. You can only say that you got pissed off. I, I'm not making that up. That is a true thing, Blissful Hayes. Uh, lost Toby. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, Pringle says, yes, it is official. And seeing Rain can make says, hey, what do you guys think about investing in gold or, or silver? I just got some tax money back and I'm thinking of investing. I think you should invest in radio advertising, Senior Wake and Bake. Send that entire check over to Radio Ron, and he'll help you out with that. You might just be stoned enough to do it. <laughs> That'd be nice. Just saying. I'm just, say, take your shots, you know, where you can get them. You know, if he's going to smoke that much pot, is it really my fault? Uh, Randy, <laughs> you'll probably want to sit this one out. Because okay. you don't you don't like Shohei Otani. Okay. Um, I, I never said that, but okay. All right. Well, then I want to see how you feel about this. Uh, now, okay. he was just, if you're having a batting slump, 
how good mm-hmm. a mood are you in? Mm. You're, you're going to get up to bad at least 500 some odd times. Depends on how long the slump's going on. Mm-hmm. So he has been in a bit of a uh, slump. Uh, uh, 21 mm-hmm. at bats, only has three hits and five strikeouts, no walks. Okay. So you know, he's the top of the lineup. So they're expecting him to hit. His pitching's yeah. been fine. His pitching has been fine. Mm-hmm. But his hitting, uh, well, they were just calling him a modern day Babe Ruth, mm-hmm. and uh, he's not looking that way so uh i guess uh, he was hanging out there after uh, having a bad time at the plate and uh he was laughing and pretending to perform cpr on his bat you know yes <laughs> like cpr and uh he's just giggling and uh you know so okay well that was that was that was cute i guess mm-hmm. but how do you feel about that Randy? i'm not too worried about it i mean uh, slumps happen in major league baseball all the time like you said the average major leaguer is going to get up to to the plate at between 400 and 500 times a season if you're a you know a regular everyday player. So uh, I'm not too worried about it if he's uh, you know if he's three for 23 or whatever. I mean that's that's insignificant. Well, not worried about his play, but here's a guy who's getting paid a bazillion dollars, and yeah. here's a guy yeah. who has been lauded as the second coming of something. And so when he's out there, don't you want him to care a little bit more? And be like, okay, I'm joking around trying to revive my bat. Well, maybe go, uh, you know, go take some swings in the batting cage and take this a little more seriously because you're getting, you're not, this is not a fun beer league, buddy. This is the major league baseball and you're getting mm-hmm. paid handsomely. Um, mm-hmm. You know, well, let's see some results, please. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's all about results, but there's nothing you can do. I mean, once you uh, go up to the plate, if you, uh, if you don't perform, uh, it's back to the bench. I mean, you could take about a million hacks. Doesn't mean that you're going to go up and, and face a pitcher and be able to get a, uh, you know, successful hit off of this, uh, off this pitcher. I mean, you just got to keep swinging through it. Any major league veteran will tell you, you got to keep swinging through it, you know, keep getting some a base and, 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 uh, and just try to hit your way out of it. I don't know, if I was the manager, happens. I might've been annoyed by that. Yeah. He's sitting there clowning around. It makes me want to walk up behind him with a defibrillator and go, <laughs> just drop him. Right. Uh, I mean, yeah. dude, we're five games into a 162 game series uh, season. And yeah, nobody's going to be upset about it. Slumps happen. And, and sometimes, you know, you, you joke about it. Now, if the slump continues, that that's when um, I think you'll start to see the, the uh, other emotions there, but, but this early, like Randy said, I, I, I don't know how upset you are about that. Really, I don't know. If I'm paying a guy millions of dollars, I'd like to take him a little more seriously. His yeah, job, I mean, his I job, it. which, but his know. job is it. a game. I, you put in the work to be able to play a game for a living. I know. I know. You know, have have fun a little. A uh, little. Fish Tank says, "Sounds like Otani needs a DH." <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, Boomer Sooner says, "My neighbor supposedly has some Kona Gold. If anybody's interested." No, not really. No, no, thank you. Uh, Mr. Pringle says that's a one game winning streak for your dime bags. How about that? Yeah, that's about how our streaks will go this season. I think one game. Uh, we got to take a break. When we come back, it's time to move on. That's right. Uh, we talked about your basketball. We talked about uh, the baseball. And now we're going to talk us some football. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, the Fanatic. If you're an IT professional looking for an opportunity with great benefits and the freedom to creatively solve problems in a career with great growth potential and a team environment, look no further than Affinity Technology. Serving the Valley since 1992, Affinity Technology is looking for a level one tech to develop and deliver excellent solutions and outstanding customer service. Visit ATECHAZ.com forward slash jobs and get started with your future today. That's ATECHAZ.com forward slash jobs. There's no doubt that Harman Solar can save you up to 85% on your monthly electric bill. That's a fact. Bruce Jacobs here. But did you know it's possible to get solar for zero down and no payments for 12 months? You can lease, finance, or even purchase outright. They have plans that fit everybody. Harman Solar is a family-owned, women-owned local company that uses top-of-the-line equipment. Call Harman Solar at 800-281-3189. That's 800-281-3189. Or go to harmansolar.com. Where are those receipts? Tax day is nearly here. And Chanel is stressing. Why do I always wait till the last minute? Her small business needs a bookkeeper to crunch some big numbers. All these spreadsheets make my head spin. 
None of this adds up. Indeed can help her hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Our hiring platform instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes on Indeed match your job description. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. I represent low-cost airlines, and we know a lot of you are not traveling right now, and we understand. However, if you do need to travel between now and the end of the year, now is a great time to lock in some of the lowest prices we've seen in a lifetime. Hey, in normal times, we can save you up to 75%, but now airlines are practically giving away seats. We have inside deals on over 500 airlines. Here are a few sample round-trip deals we found. Seattle to Vegas, $35. Chicago to Atlanta, $85. Los Angeles to Atlanta, $100. Of course, there are some limitations, but the airlines want your business right now. And cancellation and change fees are flexible. So fly somewhere this year, book now, save a ton, call right now. 802-341-4535. 802-341-4535. 802-341-4535. That's 802-341-4535. Your home has gone way up in value, but have you taken advantage of it? This is Rob Kanyer with a phenomenal opportunity to tap into some of your home equity, earning tax-free income and eliminating your mortgage payment while staying in your home as long as you want. With home prices leveling off, don't wait to learn more about the new reverse mortgage. This is a safe and proven money-saving and tax-free income opportunity for homeowners age 62 and older. Call me, Reverse Rob, and learn more today at 602-REVERSE. That's 602-738-3773 or download my app by searching Retire Right with Reverse Rob. Before becoming a professional announcer, I took the announcer oath, which forbids me from misleading listeners. Just wrap your heads around the reality of that. That means I speak the truth when I say you can listen to us on your smart speaker. Just say, listen to 1580 The Fanatic. Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. All right, so I don't care what you say. It's the NBA playoffs. I don't care if they're play-ins. I don't agree with the play-ins, but if they're going to put the play-ins in, they're part of the playoffs. That's what I think. So, NBA playoffs means what? Next level basketball. Supposed to be. All right, so get ready for all the action and bet the play-in tournament. Why not? I mean, uh, according to me, these are kind of easy games to figure out. And if maybe you include a parlay in the mix somewhere, you could actually make some dough. But I ain't going to tell you how to live your life. I'm not going to tell you how to bet your bets. But I will say, if you have not yet done it, you need to download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Uh, use promo code BET1580. Bet $5 on any NBA team to win during the play-in and get $150 in free bets instantly. It's promo code BET1580 at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, 21 plus, Arizona only. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-NEXT-STEP. New customers only, $5 minimum deposit. Eligibility restrictions apply. See DraftKings.com slash Sportsbook for details. Uh, so the game started, right? The game has... Yeah, the uh, game has started. We've give got me an a, update on that, would you? A minute in the first, minute left in the first, uh, and the Hawks lead the Hornets 29-19. What a surprise. Uh, so, all right, Keon, keep us up to date uh, for, for you know, as much as you can during the game. But again, please pay attention to the show. Of right course. Keon. Of Thank course. You. All right. Uh, I still have Phil on speed dial. I just want you to know that. Nothing. No, don't take, don't read into that. <laughs> don't read I, into that. I won't. Okay. Uh, 888-368-1580. Uh, Fish Tank says, serious question. Do you think maybe the culture is a little bit different in Japan? You've seen the crazy game shows and the stuff they have there. They handle things very differently there. I think they're awesome. I, I wish I knew how to speak uh, Japanese because they have fun. Boy, they do. They do know how to have fun. But when it comes to a guy making bazillions of dollars, and I, well, maybe I'm just being crotchety because I don't make bazillions of dollars. Maybe that's my problem. It's probably not Otani's problem. And uh, it was nice I mean, to see Randy stick up for Otani. Because because if if he's still doing that, if if the slump continues, because you, you could have a, a long slump and it's midseason and he's still not hitting well and he's still goofing around. I, I think it's 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 time to, you know, gut check and go, OK, you yeah. know, hey, time to start taking this seriously. But early on, you're a little frustrated. You just kind of laugh to get it out of your system. I don't mind that at all. 
Good cat says, do you mean you have Phil on speedo dial? Oh, you shut up. You shut your <laughs> mouth. I uh, have to laugh. The, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> says, I think he keeps Phil on speed dial just to remind him how good he has it now. <laughs> uh, King of Kitten says, the best investment for a few hundred uh, uh, or a few thousand dollars in tax returns is yourself. Oh, King of Kittens going the full Dave Ramsey on us. Pay down some debt, eliminate credit card debt, get a handle on utility bills, examine your subscriptions, save a few hundy for emergency or just for, I don't know, a hell of it fund. Remember, an ounce of gold would have bought you a fine men's suit 100 years ago as it will today and most likely will 100 years from now. So he's saying, yeah, pay down your debt. That's more important. And I think he's right. Uh, number one Rattlers fan says, if you're going to talk football, please, 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 could you please talk 45 seconds about the 4-0 and Arizona Rattlers? Um, mm. Yeah, we got a game on Friday. So, yeah, uh, we'll find 45 seconds somewhere to talk about your Arizona Rattlers, uh, number one Rattlers fan, because uh, you said please. 888-368-1580. Before we can uh, get too much into the uh, nuts and bolts of football, time for another uh, episode of Oh, Keon's poor team. That's right. Uh, now Congress is saying uh, it's so bad with the Washington commandos. They say, quote, uh, the allegations against the commandos read like something out of the Godfather. <laughs> OK, well, you know, you got Daniel Snyder. Oh, you know my he, God. You know what he did uh, last summer? He he bought the most expensive house in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area. For $48 million in cash. That is just Tony Montana stuff mm -hmm. right out the gate. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I, I 100% believe that. So, I guess there's a guy named Jason Friedman who uh, was 24 years he, with your team. He was the whistleblower. Yeah. Yeah. He's got evidence beyond the testimony. So, it's yeah, going to get worse. The, the team called his bluff. He, he said that he was the one that told Congress what the team was doing. And then the team put out a statement later that day that basically said if he really said those things, he committed perjury. That was how strong mm -hmm. that statement was. And uh, if he had any proof, he'd produce it. And uh, his lawyer then asked for the team to allow him to produce that stuff without being sued, to, you know, re release him from the NDA, uh, which the team did not do. So I don't know exactly what's going mm -hmm. to happen here now. But Jason Friedman was like, you're not going to call me a liar and uh, produced the documents. Yep. Jason Friedman's about to be my hero. Yeah, so let me tell you about Jason Friedman. Uh, if he's been smart, now when a guy buys a house for $48 million, as Dan Snyder did, uh, that means they'll think nothing about putting a million dollars in the hands of a hitman. So Jason Friedman, if he's smart, has been living uh, uh, off the grid in a hotel somewhere eating nothing but Twinkies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's laying the hell low uh, because this is the kind of stuff people get. Uh, Hillary Clinton over, if you know what I mean. So I'm just saying uh, this guy is kind of like, remember back in the day, Randy, this is before electric cars suddenly became a good idea by the auto oh, manufacturers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some dude would say, hey, I just uh, was able to invent a car that works on water. You see a little red dot on his face. And the next time he had no face, uh, he, yep. they'd kill him uh, yep. because you threaten big business. Uh, you got big consequences. So uh, Jason Friedman's a brave, brave man. Brave, brave man for uh, any of this, to be honest. He, he is the hero we needed because, uh, you know, you, you can frame this as, as bad for my team. I don't think so. Anything that gets us one step closer to pushing that guy, Dan Snyder, out the door is just one step closer to Christmas as far as I'm concerned. I feel like, uh, yeah, you're, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. He's he's got to stay under the uh, under the wire. He can't even go outside right now. He can't. I mean, <laughs> would you trust anybody right now if you actually had any kind of evidence? You know what I'm saying? That just that, that's a scary place to be. But uh, you know, uh, Fish Tank says I thought we already canceled Washington, didn't we? Uh, didn't know we were going to get to cancel them over and over again. This is fun. Oh, I know what they've been canceled over and over again my whole life. It's a, it's a scandal every other week. This this is, quite frankly, a pace that I'm used to. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Big George says, oh, man, when did the fanatic become like that news station down the dial with Dave Ramsey? Talk, talk, talk all day long. If I wanted financial advice, I'd tune to Money Radio, not Dan, uh, Dave Ramsey. God damn, you people are just so critical. <laughs> <sighs> Starting to feel like, 
who is the uh, quarterback who was going, oh, Sam Darnold. You know, I don't go to where you work at night and slap the bleep out of your mouth. 888-368-1580. <laughs> okay, Sam. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you, you, it's, it's, it's going to be worse and worse and worse for your, for your team, Keon. Good. Uh, con- well, I know. Congratulations. Because <laughs> if this keeps going this way, uh, it'll be just, over. Just keep turning the temperature up. Do it. Now on to my team. Uh, my Indianapolis Colts, Ian Rappaport, came out and says, uh, you know, Colts owner Jim Irsay was saying that Jim Ballard, I'm sorry, Chris Ballard was uh, in on a, a big free agent, you know, a big name guy. Uh, there, And then the next thing you hear, Stefan Gilmore was visiting the Colts. It's like, holy crap, do we need more guys on our defense? But, uh, th- th- I mean, we got Quiddy Pay, We got Grover Stewart. We got DeForest Buckner, uh, Yannick Nick. Nick- Gaku. We got Darius Leonard, Bobby O'Kirky. Uh, a lot of the names on my defense makes me think that maybe I've got a stutter. Uh, <laughs> they got, uh, uh, you know, maybe Stefan Gilmore. Uh, and then they've got uh, great cornerbacks, uh, Rogers, uh, Faceon. They got uh, Kenny Moore in the slot. They got uh, Julian Blackman. They got Armani Watts, uh, Kyrie Willis, uh, Rodney McCloyd. Can you imagine this defense, including Stefan Gilmore? It just gets better and better for every position but quarterback. <laughs> well, that well, that's fine. If you understand that your position of need is quarterback um, and you're, you're not capable of getting the kind of high end lifts the team, uh, you know, to the Super Bowl kind of guy, you got Matt Ryan, who's a good quarterback. So just build a defense that, you know, maximizes uh, uh, everything and, and kind of keeps him in a position where, as long as he doesn't lose the game, this defense is going to keep him, uh, you know, he, he got a small lead, keep him ahead in games. And, and then you give him some wide receiver talent and move on. So do we really need Stefan Gilmore with uh, that uh, murderer's row I just read off right there? I mean, you don't need him, but I, the most of the guys you, you read are, are, are linebackers and, and mm-hmm. uh, defensive linemen. So Gilmore Basically gave you my entire starting defense. Yeah. Um, but Gilmore is if you p- took him and put him on that team, he'd immediately be one of the best players in that. Sure, secondary. sure, sure. So it's it's an embarrassment of riches. Sure. But, you know, you got a great secondary to add to the monsters that that team has up front on the defensive side on, on the defensive line. And and with that linebacking core. Well, that, do you that's think Ballard scary. went to Irsay and said, listen, uh, I told you that. Why are you telling people that? Because now <laughs> you're kind of taking away some of my negotiating angle and you say, oh, Chris is in on a big name talent. Oh, boy, I can't wait. And here comes uh, <laughs> Stefan Gilmore going, you can pay me now. Just pay me. Yeah. It's already okay. done. Just pay me. Uh, 888-368-1580. I got no uh, Cardinal news for you, Randy. I'm sorry. There's well, that's good. No news is good news as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Uh, in the NFL, though, uh, this could be good news. This could be bad news. Two more NFL officials have retired. So that means nine guys in, in the offseason have retired uh, from the NFL officiating crews. Well, it, the you see what is, I'm saying? You got to say, yeah. I, if they were bad guys, I hope they're good. They're gone. But if they're experienced and they were good at their jobs, that's not good for us. That's, that's not good, especially if you replace them with a bunch of uh, younger guys who, even if they are good, would still need to get that experience, take their lumps, make some mistakes, which means that those are mistakes we're all going to have to live through. Which so it's unfortunate. I don't know. Let's see. The, uh, you remember their names? Uh, Mark Schull. Uh, no, that's the guy reported. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, Gary Cavaletto and Rich Hall. Comedian Rich Hall? Hmm. I thought he died. Well, anyway, uh, Gary Cavaletto, Rich Hall. So I don't remember hearing their names involved in these scandals. So that can't be that can't be good. You know, they were the 18 and 19 years of experience. So anyway, uh, OK, I guess where, where are they moving guys up from, by the way? You know what I'm ball. Is, it, is it coming up from college? Will it come up from the USFL next? Because Dean Landino is teaching them something. I, I mean, I'm, I'm seriously curious. Where somebody are they? Summon up the. Dean oh, Blandino, the really sexiest regret, name in sports. Regret that one. Uh, I couldn't. I'm here. Go ahead. Ask your question to the love. I, I don't have any questions, Dean. Just I, mm. how you know that we've mentioned your name and why yeah, no, it's showing up is a good question. It, you speak it out in the universe, mm. and the universe 
tells me. Uh, uh, officials come up through the ranks the, the, the sort of same way the players do. Mm. Um, you hey, know, could, you, you oh, referee Dean. high school, and that gets you to, to, to maybe referee some college games. And you well, get hold to on, college. Dean, Dean, could you just stop making <laughs> noises when we're just are talking we, about? Are we talking about love here? No, zero person. Love? Zero person. <clears throat> just, just nothing football. to do with you. you Dean or, Blandino out. Thank you. Oh, God. Uh, so they have a system for this or how do they recruit the new guys? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know exactly if there's a, an official system, but I, I know that you you as as you gain experience, you, you uh, you know, become qualified for these jobs. And then you got you got referees that leave like hmm. these guys are. And so then you turn to college and go, who are the right. college officials that have the most experience at the highest levels, of course, in the biggest conferences, in the biggest games? to try and get those guys into the NFL, which is still tough because the NFL yeah. game does move much faster. Boogie is saying almost all NFL referees come from the Power Five conferences, and I say they come from uh, HBLCs, historically blind colleges. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> oh, I just made that up right there. Oh, man. <sighs> Tell me. I, I'm kind of hungry. I haven't anything to eat. Uh, number one Rattlers fan says, yeah, they come from the SEC in the Big Ten right there. S. Austin says, did I read, uh, I think I did read, that the NFL was sending the new refs and those with the least experience to the USFL to try to get more experience before the season. Okay. Um, that's not going to be confusing at all. They're going to have a referee nature going, I can't say touchdown. I didn't see the ball glow. That's great. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys, that's two hours down, and we have no more to go. In Spanish, that's one. You know. It's Daily Blender here on 1580. Thanks. In the NBA play-in tournament, there are no sure things except one. Bet at least $20 in same-game parlays on FanDuel Sportsbook, and you'll get an instant bonus, win or lose. Hey, it's Randy from the Blender. Not only do you get to enjoy NBA's best duking it out for the right to advance in the playoffs, but FanDuel is giving all customers a bonus for getting in on the action. Oh, and the more you bet, the bigger your bonus. FanDuel is an official partner of the NBA, and their app is safe, easy to use, and you'll get your winnings fast. New to FanDuel Sportsbook? Sign up today with promo code Randy1580 to make every moment more this NBA season. So don't just watch the NBA play-in tournament. Be a part of it. Bet at least 20 bucks in same-game parlays and get an instant bonus, win or lose. Remember, you got to be 21 or older, present in Arizona. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable free bets that expire in seven days. Max bonus, 100 bucks. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? 1-800-NEXT-STEP or text Next Step to 53342. If you owe the IRS back taxes, then get ready to pay up. The IRS has giant private collection agencies actively tracking down folks who owe the IRS. So if you think dodging them was stressful in the past, it's going to get a whole lot tougher. Optima Tax Relief has this advice. Don't wait. Solve your tax problems now before it's too late. Optima Tax Relief works to stop the demand letters, stop the aggressive collection actions, and stop the IRS collectors from targeting you. Ask Optima about the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. If you qualify, you could save thousands, and nobody knows this program better than they do. Optima is A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and they get results, having resolved over a billion dollars of tax debt for their clients. Get a fresh start. Call today for your free consultation. Call 800-587-6643. 800-587-6643. 800-587-6643. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. If you're an IT professional looking for an opportunity with great benefits and the freedom to creatively solve problems in a career with great growth potential and a team environment, look no further than Affinity Technology. Serving the Valley since 1992, Affinity Technology is looking for a level one tech to develop and deliver excellent solutions and outstanding customer service. Visit ATECHAZ.com forward slash jobs and get started with your future today. That's ATECHAZ.com. Z.com forward slash jobs. Hey guys, it's Stephen McCollum from the main event here on 1580 The Fanatic. And join me 1 to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. What will happen in Major League Baseball today? It's been an adventurous start to the season and a lot to talk about. We will know Thursday who has an opportunity to play the Suns in the first round. So let's discuss Wednesday night's game, the NHL, NFL news, and more. So join me, Stephen McCollum, on the main event, Monday through Friday, 1 p.m. on 1580, 99.3 FM, The Fanatic. 
Live from the Harmon Solar Studios in Scottsdale. This is KQFN Tempe. Also transmitting on KQ5 CD Phoenix at 99.3 FM. And KQ40 U Fountain Hills at 95.9 FM. It's time for the third hour. Quiet, people, settle down. Because it's time. Time for what? Showtime. When does it start? Right now. Three, two, one. What? Let's get on with the show. Let's do it. All right, everybody, it's 5 o'clock here on the Daily Blender. I'm your good friend, your radio pal, Jeffrey O'Brien, alongside Randy White. Got Keon Rose in the control room, and you guys are on the Fanatic text line, 888-368-1580. We broadcast live in the Harmon Solar Studios in Scottsdale. And... Uh, all right, we, we got, got a bunch of NFL to talk about this hour. And we also have what's bugging Keon Rose. That's coming up pretty soon. Um, but we got to clean up the text line. Let's get caught up with uh, some of these texts, and then we'll get to that. Uh, Ukle the Mock says, oh, yeah, add to that defense that lost the Jaguars in a winning game. Good job. Shut up, Ukle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we, well, they, they got rid of the problem from that game. You know, it was Carson Wentz was not able to deliver mm-hmm. in that game. It wasn't the defense necessarily. Well, to be fair, uh, you know, my defense did not do their job that day because it was Trevor Lawrence. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, I don't even know who the coach was. You know, it, it was a team that nobody should have been beaten by. So Th- this is true. I, I got nothing to say to Ukla other than shut up. <laughs> Big George says, oh, no, did uh, Bozier uh, retire? Is re-? No, he's still out there. Uh, you know, I love the way he talks, but you got to hate the way he officiates a game, though. Howdy. Five y'all pound, pound, fuck down. <laughs> or ten y'all pound, ten. I, I think uh, it's a good trade-off, quite frankly. It's the one trade-off. Well, I'll accept his bad officiating. Yeah, I'm not even mad. I love that guy. <laughs> Uh, senior Wagenbeck says, Jeffrey, your quarterback is 40 years lame, and so are your crappy. Uh, you can't win with that defense anyway, crippled Colts. Go Niners. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fish Tank says, yeah, we're going to have USFL refs going. They're going to try the three-point conversion after touchdowns. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's going to be very confusing. Boogie says Ed Hockley Jr. Uh, ref in the Pac-12. He was a douchebag. He wasn't very good at all. But his dad was part of the uh, boys club there in the NFL. Um, I haven't really had any problem with the way he's officiated NFL games. Uh, have you noticed uh, uh, Mr. Ed Hockley Jr.? The only thing I noticed is his guns are nowhere near as epic as no. his dad's were. No, I mean, that, that's, that's severely lacking. Uh, Jr., you got to get, get, get to the weight room. Uh, catch up to your pops. That's that's really yeah. uh, the big thing there. He's he's an okay official. I mean, you know, is is his dad still a lawyer here in town? Because Boogie, if his dad hears you talking crap about his son, uh, you know what happens next. He's a lawyer, uh, which means he's got access to information. Which means he'll find out who you are, where you are, and he's going to come over there and he's going to flex around your head and pop your skull, uh, you know, just like that. You got to be careful, Boogie. You don't mess with the hockey leagues. Hockey leagues, hockey leagues. Uh, Lost Toby says, I think we bring back those replacement refs. Sport loyalty is not a protected class, by the way. Oh, yeah. You like the Cowboys? Yeah, well, thanks for volunteering for crap, too. Okay. Yes, Keon? Is yeah, he still it, 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 According to the Wikipedia, he is. There you go. So careful, Boogie. Careful what you say. Uh, Kiss the Cook says, so the media is once again dragging their know-it-all ass on voting our son's coach, Monty Williams, as coach of the year. Screwed twice. And no love for Booker as player of the year. Uh, where are you seeing uh, this? Uh, are they releasing some information or something? By the way, Hawks uh, seem to be up on the Hornets, uh, 44 to 37. At least that's what I see. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, you're correct. Uh, with five minutes left to go in the half. So uh, I don't know where you're seeing what you're saying there, Kiss the Cook, but uh, don't ever be surprised about that. I'm surprised about Monty. If they don't give Monty Williams, who are they giving it to? Who's another coach that at least the media it ain't Frank Vogel. So who's on the East coast because they only um, like people on the East or West coast. Yeah. Uh, you could, you could make an argument for Udoka with uh, the Celtics, the way they closed out. The if you season. can't spell his name without looking, you can't vote for him. Um, it, it's one of those names that sounds really hard, but it's actually not like once you're not helping Keon. You're not helping. <laughs> 
but I, I don't think you could vote for him because um, Monty's, Monty did such a fantastic job. I just, I, I like what Udoka did. I just don't think that that was more impressive than what Monty was able to do with the Suns, with major players missing. He missed time with Aiton. He missed time with Chris Paul. He missed time with Devin Booker. Still the best record in the league. I don't know mm-hmm. how you vote against mm-hmm. that. Yeah, I, I hope you're wrong, Kiss the Cook, but as has been uh, very much documented on this show, when, when it comes to the Suns and Arizona in general, maybe rightfully so for a lot of it, but for the Suns, not, no, that, that's not, not, not this cool. season. Yeah they should be talking about them more, but you know what? Who cares? There are two things that are, if they happen, I'll I'll be, I'll be a little ticked off. I'll be a little ticked off. If Monty's not coach of the year, and I'll be a little ticked off. if Mikael Bridges isn't defensive player of the year. You don't feel like Devin Booker should be uh, MVP. then, huh? Well, I, I think he, I think he should be, but I, I just think that there are arguments. There are stronger arguments for other guys. And it's not, it's not that clear and cut and dry. Mikael Bridges didn't miss a single game this season and and took the best player on every team and actually slowed those guys down. If that doesn't win you defensive player of the year, I don't know what does. Well, kiss the cook, stay tuned. Uh, just because the talking heads are talking, that doesn't mean that that's the way it'll go. I sure hope not. Uh, Boomer Sooner says, today's beautiful slight breeze and blue skies and sunshine. Oh, it's nice. Uh, he wants to know if he can get a cold beer and uh, maybe a little Boomer Sooner. Oh, well, Randy is not at his post at the moment. Uh, maybe he can give you a beer and a boomer sooner here in a few minutes. Good cat says, yeah, the defense didn't do their job, but uh, taking into consideration the defense on the field, the entire game, because Carson Wentz couldn't do a damn thing. Good point. Good cat. Good point. Thank you for your backup on that. Good cat. Good cat is uh, he's an anomaly uh, of life. Uh, he's the only you Arizona fan. I like uh, he's always reasonable and cool. And he's a fellow Colts fan. So, uh, I mean, I, I can't ever say I did. And in fact, I liked good cat before I knew he was a Colts fan. So, uh, good man, uh, good cat also hall of fame texter. So they might've go. gotten in early because of the things I just mentioned. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, sometimes, he's in. sometimes it's what, you know, sometimes it's who, you know, sometimes it's some combination of the two. He's just a made man. Now boogie says, Oh yeah, bring it on. Papa hockey. Lee. All right. Oh, Boogie. He's still, no. got the, he's still got the guns, Boogie. Boogie, this is, you're just, just, just don't. If you find yourself face-to-face with Hockey League, fetal position, that's all you can do, man. Uh, George says, yes, it is confirmed. Hockey League is still an attorney. I saw him in court once, and his muscles are impressive in person, too. You can see those things underneath uh, the white dress shirt, you know? Wow. And uh, then he sent me a, a link. The, uh, the, uh, Oh, he's oh, it shows now he has retired, though. Uh, the, he used to work for Jones, Skelton, and Hockey League. He was a founding partner there. Uh, so I, I, I guess if he's retired, he's not, a, he's not a lawyer anymore. But he's here, Boogie. And now with all his <laughs> spare time, he can come kick your ass. Yeah. Good Cat says, I'd like to believe I got the Hall of Fame for all that. And also for pissing off Phil at that one time. That didn't hurt. Didn't I, hurt. I, I missed that. What, what happened there? I don't remember. Oh, oh no. Okay. I, 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 I was I was hoping there's a funny story associated. I was there probably is. I just don't remember. <laughs> a lot of a lot of stuff happens on this show, I Keon. I don't remember things from last week. So, you know. Yeah, I, I'm always moving forward to the next thing. So then people like sometimes they'll be sitting there say, Hey, remember the time you said that thing? And I'm like, Yeah, that sounds like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. So let's talk about some football here. Uh Derek Carr. Um Three-year extension, $121.5 million. It also helps with the cap space. Uh, so I guess they are looking to win now, as the saying goes. But, uh, all right, I feel like maybe they overpaid there. Maybe they overpaid $121.5 million three years. I, I, That's I don't, $40 million a year if you really just do it the easy way. He, well, he's, he's what, a, he, a top-10 quarterback in the league? I, I think for that, for that, what, uh, what he does for them, you know, makes that offense uh, stable and steady and, and makes big plays. And they've now given him uh, Devonte Adams as a big time receiver. I, I, I don't, I don't know that they, they overpaid for him necessarily. I mean, this is a commitment to him that basically says, look, our championship window is now it's these three years go get it done. And uh, you know, the, the other option would have been basically hide, hide from the rest of that that incredibly 
scary, terrifying division. And then maybe you start over, maybe you try and rebuild. And then three years from now, you, you hope that one, one or two of those teams have broken apart and you can emerge. Instead, they've made a commitment to winning right now. And I don't think they overpaid necessarily. All right, so with Devonte Adams uh, and I, you know, who else do they got? I mean, does this suddenly become a team that is actually in contention? Because as you say, uh, they're looking to win now. Can this team, uh, and I'm not talking about regular season, I'm saying be formidable and actually have a shot at this thing with the personnel that they have on the field right now? I, I think so. They, they have, uh, you know, a, a really great passing game now. Um, then you look at the defensive side of the ball, they were able to bring back Max Crosby. You know, that was huge. And the defense that they've been building up this entire time, that this is a really, really good football team. Their only problem is the rest of that damn division being as loaded as it is. It's possible you could spend all of this money and still finish fourth. Uh, but you got to find a way to get past the, the, the Chiefs and, and the Chargers and, and the Broncos with Russell Wilson now. That's going to be the name of the game is it's X's and O's. Once you have that much talent on all four of those squads, you, you got to win these divisional matchups. You got to find a way to do this strategically because talent wise, I think that they are in the same ballpark with the rest of the AFC West. Kaler, the quitter says, wait, wait, what? There's a texture hall of fame. He says, is there enough bronze for my giant head? No. And you're not going to be in the Hall of Fame because you hardly ever text and you were you quit the show. So I, I don't know. It, it'd be a long, long road to see you in a Hall of Fame situation as a, as a texter, Kaler. I mean, you, you know, our, here's the basis uh, criteria wise for the Hall of Fame texters. Now, I don't know if you know this, Keon, but there is actually a criteria for it. It's not sometimes it's a whim. I'll just go, bam, you're in the Hall of Fame. And usually I do that to annoy other people on the show uh, <laughs> more than to celebrate the greatness of one of our texters. Although there have been a couple where I was like, no, no, this guy's awesome and nobody complained. Uh, but here's the criteria. One, uh, you know. Texting in, making sure you're texting in, being present, being part of the show. Mm -hmm. Two, coming out to our live events, actually participating when we're out and about doing our stuff, uh, helping support the, the businesses and stuff that you know advertised. Uh, I know it's been uh, you know a COVID chunk of years, but you know we're going to get back out there and start doing it. And three, bribes. We accept bribes. That has always been a, a huge consideration. And we're not uh, governed by any sort of uh, official body. So it's just a matter of, well, whatever we feel like. And Randy will tell you that there is a committee and there's a meeting and there's no, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I go, yeah, how about that guy? And then we're done. Uh, so that is how that works, Kaler. Uh, the problem is you don't text nearly enough. Now you've started texting more lately and I can only assume because you're now unemployed. And that's your own fault. But, uh, you know, so you're on the right path, but you're going to need to see more if you're going to get an HOF next to your name there. Boogie says, what put me in the Blender Hall of Fame was my Kyler Murray PSAs. You are correct. And I uh, can't believe I missed those. Also, uh, you know, that bo box of Lucky Charms in the uh, studio over by the, uh, the shrine of Kurt Warner, mm -hmm. there's a Lucky Charms box with Kyler Murray on it that he made and presented once. And also, uh, Boogie is where we got smoking uh, Jay Cutler in the case, you know, in the, uh, oh. the bobblehead case. That was, that okay. was also I, I can see both of those things from where I'm sitting right now, too. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, cool. Random Texter says, Jeffrey, I wonder if you ever paid your bet to Randy and Keon about the Suns losing uh, over their half their games in the time frame Chris Paul was out. Uh, no, I haven't had a chance to yet. I hope to hear uh, fairly soon because uh, I need me some Barros pizza. I haven't had that in a, in a mm -hmm. minute. Yeah, we just haven't gotten together to do it yet, but we'll do it. Bless LaHaye says, uh, remember, the referees don't matter when the NFL is rigged. Uh, by the way, do they test NFL refs for roids or other drugs? Well, clearly not roids because hockey league. Uh, as far as other drugs, I don't know. It's a good question. I, I Listen, they are not governed by the same rules of anybody uh you can say two words about a ref and suddenly you've got a fine or a suspension as a player or coach the refs well they just get to wander free in the universe and do whatever they want so it's very unfair and uneven but uh yeah i don't know about random drug testing that's a that's a good question don't know actually it was uh ed hockley that said uh that nfl referees can be 
uh, subjected to random drug and alcohol tests. Mm. Well, they should be uh, subjected to random eye tests. (laughs) Uh, Ukla says, well, you killed my dog and I forgave you. So uh, how come I'm not in the Hall of Fame? Mm. (laughs) You've never been nice to anybody. If you could be nice to everybody for like even a minute, maybe you think about it. Uh, Let's see. Lost Toby says, Randy looks like he just dropped five pounds. That must have been a great poop, Randy. Yeah, Randy. Thank you. Back. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> that was, a, that was that, amazing. That was 15 minutes of grabbing onto the towel bar and praying for the end. <laughs> and yeah. the other. It was uh, not yeah. a restroom that moment. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell yeah. you that. So uh, the uh, uh, halftime is here uh, in that game. 60 to 52 Hawks over the uh, Hornets. Closer than I thought it would be, to be honest. But I mean, I mean there's still a lot of game left. So. Mm-hmm. 888-368-1580. So we, we go from uh, you know, Derek Carr getting a three-year extension for $121.5 million. And that'll buy you a lot of Maybelline, uh, you know, eye makeup yeah. there, buddy. I'm sure he said. Then we go to the other end of the spectrum, a guy who was like this close to getting an extension, this close to being a made man. And now, not so much. Baker Mayfield is like, I feel disrespected. Uh, mm-hmm. He says, I was told one thing, they completely did another, and that's what I'm in the middle of right now. And uh, he, he still thinks he's a good quarterback. And I don't know, maybe he's rightish. I He's a mediocre quarterback at best, I think. But uh, he they asked him, so where do you, where do you think you're going to end up then? And he says, well, uh, this kind of scared me a little. I peed a little. Uh, he says, well, I thought it was going to be the Colts uh, until a couple of weeks ago. And he says, but now I guess Seattle's the most obvious option. And mm. he kind of looks at the camera. <laughs> right. <laughs> Right, Seattle? Call me. And so uh, dodge the Baker Mayfield bullet we did. Uh, So, yeah, at least Matt Ryan's better than that. And, uh, you know, it actually kind of makes sense in run for Seattle, doesn't it, to have Baker Mayfield there? Yeah, if you, I mean, because Baker can can be a game manager type quarterback. And look, Baker has had success in the NFL to a degree. His rookie season was phenomenal. I mean, we, we saw when you saw him play that season, it looked like, okay, Baker Mayfield's going to be here and be established for a while. And he's regressed every year since. And uh, last year uh, he was really injured. So uh, we, we didn't see if he was ever going to be able to bounce back or even be average. That was the worst season that he had. Um, but Seattle makes a lot of sense. Cause I, I just, I just don't want Baker Mayfield being my primary option. I don't want the offense to run through him. I want the offense to go through the running game the most of the, because he's a great play action quarterback, but you know, it, that was an awful lot of words. Keon. You know, I'll be honest. I did sort of, uh, <laughs> I'm saying he's a, a good, he's a good fit for. No, let me tell you why. Uh, really the only analysis we needed on that is Baker Mayfield looks like a pasty faced, uh, hipster that you'd see at, at any at Starbucks in Seattle. That's really it. He really, does he really look Seattle. like a hipster. To the beard, he's all beardy there a little bit and pale. He looks like a Pacific Northwestern. You okay. know what I'm saying? Because he's he's from Texas and he just reminds me of a lot of people I met in Texas. Sure, but, but maybe sure, Austin. But, so maybe maybe the Pacific Northwest app. Put some plaid. Just somebody Photoshop some plaid on him, and you'll see. <laughs> he totally <laughs> fits in uh, with the Seahawks. And I'll be curious to see what Ralph thinks about that when uh, he stops by on Friday. <laughs> Uh, all right, we must take a break. And don't feel bad for Baker Mayfield. Even if he doesn't play, uh, he'll still make $18.8 million next year. He, he's, he'll be okay. So yeah. don't go buying him any Starbucks and thinking he's down on his luck. Okay, he can, he can, he can handle it. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back. Uh, we'll find out what's bugging Keon Rose, and maybe we'll talk some more football, too. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580 The Fanatic. This is Brad Musburger's action update. Heads up, sports bettors. Right now, you can try VSIN all access free for 30 days with no credit card required. Visit vsin.com slash free month to sign up now. Here are the latest lines from my guys in the desert. 
Justin Thomas and Colin Morikawa, co-favorites in Hilton Head, South Carolina, for the 54th edition of the RBC Heritage, underway Thursday. Both at plus 1,400. Cameron Smith at plus 1,600. Dustin Johnson and Patrick Cantley each at plus 1,800. Diamondbacks hosting the Astros. Arizona plus 126 on the money line. Houston minus 150. The over-under at 9. The East, ninth and 10th place teams meeting in the play-in game tonight. The Hawks, a five-point favorite against the Hornets. The over-under at 236. Later, the Spurs and Pelicans. Pelicans, the ninth and 10th place teams in the West. New Orleans, a five and a half point home favorite, 226, the over under. For vcin.com, I'm Trey Westerberg on Arizona's sports betting station. Are you a planner? Do you like to plan ahead? Then, of course, you already have a plan to call Harmon Solar, right? Bruce Jacobs here. It should be at the top of your list to get solar now and enjoy huge savings next summer. Up to 85% on your monthly bill with zero down and no payments for 12 months. Then you can plan what to do with all that extra money. Harmon Solar is a family-owned, women-owned, local company that uses top-of-the-line equipment. Call Harmon Solar, 800-281-3189, or go to harmonsolar.com. Medical data brought to you from Summit Mail Medical Center. Over half of the guys over the age of 45 have some type of erectile dysfunction. If you fall into this category, you are obviously not alone. Don't worry about it. Do something about it. Call Summit Mail Medical at 480-398-1000. Let our Arizona licensed doctors and all male medical staff using FDA-approved medication help you enjoy your life again. We guarantee it. Low testosterone? Common signs are muscle loss, irritability, weight gain, decreased libido. Our testosterone therapy will turn you around. Discreet, professional, and we are successful. Don't let getting older get you down. Call today, 480-398-1000. That's 480-398-1000. Or go to summitmailmedical.com. What are you waiting for? Call today. 480-398-1000. Serving part-time in the Army National Guard has led to a lot of firsts for me. It paid for me to be the first person in my family to go to school. That education got me to the first day at my dream job, which I can still hold while I serve part-time. That job and the home loan benefits I got from the Army National Guard helped me buy my first house. I also know that I will be one of the first to respond if my community ever needs me. Sponsored by the Arizona Army National Guard. Aired by the Arizona Broadcasters Association and this station. A sapiosexual is the person who's attracted to intelligence. Do you choose brains over beauty? Like mind over muscle. Prefer Shakespeare. To be or not to be. To a puppeteer. Hey, which one sit jammy? So if you are sapiosexual and your current conversation is about to get, shall we say, intellectually stimulating, reach for Shakespeare Vodka, a thoughtfully engineered spirit with pure, smooth flavor that tastes like poetry in a bottle. Shakespeare Vodka, the taste of intelligence. We just can't help it. We have to do it. It's in our DNA. At 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic, we have to bring you the most epic moments in sports. Yeah, we can't help it. We are 1580 and 99.3 The Fanatic and always on at 1580thefanatic.com. David Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Let's get caught up on the text line real fast and find out what's uh, in Keon's Craw. Ooh, maybe that should have been the name of the segment. In Keon's Craw. What's oh, in Keon's Craw? That, that's such a good name. Yeah. We, we, we should, I'm not even kidding. I think we should write that down. Mm. And I know, Big George, they're talking about uh, pansexuals and pseudosexuals and then vodka. I, I don't know. He says, I thought this was a family show. You were mistaken. <laughs> this has never been. I, mean, I always do wince a little bit when somebody says, uh, oh, yeah, me and the uh, six-year-old were driving down the road listening. I'm like, oh, maybe not. Uh, all right, so let's get caught up. Let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> um, Lost Toby says, I'll take one of whatever uh, Randy's having. Yeah, pour that man a drink, Randy. Pour that man a drink. Uh, whatever I'm having is iced tea. Here you go. Good Cat says, is Baker... A slightly better Johnny Manziel than? Oh, I mm. think I'd give him light years beyond Manziel. Mm. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I feel like mediocre is a, a, a pretty good term. Um, 
functionally mediocre. Now, some people are functional alcoholics. Baker Mayfield, I feel, is functionally mediocre. I don't know. Am I underselling him on that one? No, no, that's about correct. I mean, you looked early in his career. It, you, I could have argued you might be underselling him, but mm-hmm. the last the last couple of years, they haven't been good. They haven't been good enough. So no, I don't think you are. And he you has know, the- but I was just going to say the, the thing about uh, uh, Tannehill, though. Remember Tannehill, Ryan yeah. Tannehill, when he was with the Dolphins, everybody mm-hmm. said he was a horrible quarterback. His horrible quarterback. He was terrible. Oh no! Now the Titans picked him up. He's going to be horrible in it. He's not horrible. He's a game manager, and I think Baker Mayfield can get th- that same sort of status. If, like we were just talking about, if he gets in the right program with the right team, doing the right thing. And, and being a game manager, I know we say it like it's a bad thing, but that, that's not a bad thing. If a team <clears throat> is built, you know, to run the football and play defense and Balance. they can just drop you in and yeah. you help continue that, keep the team on schedule, pick Ain't up first sexy. downs. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be. And there's nothing wrong with it. You can win with game managers. Boomer Sooner says, wait, but is Randy back? Where's my beer? Can I have a Boomer Sooner, please? Oh, he's needy. Uh, oh, uh, I, <clears throat> Boom Sooner, Boom Sooner, Boom Sooner, Boom Sooner. Now Boomer says, come on, Jeffrey, you're always on Baker's back. Hey, look at what he's done uh, the first three years. He's at Cleveland. Nobody else did what he did. Took him to the playoffs, threw for a lot of yards, got injured because they didn't get him a line. Give me a break, Jeffrey. Um, he's mediocre. I mean, listen, I get it. He did not get a fair shake uh, with the way that O line played. And yeah, you got to give him man card points because he toughed it out. But simply toughing it out uh, and and taking abuse doesn't make you a great quarterback. I say he's a functionally mediocre quarterback. And and like Keon said, that's not necessarily the worst dig you can give a guy. Uh, mm. Dodger Danny says, "Hello, boys." No, oh, brother. I like Dodger Danny, but not during baseball season. <laughs> yeah. I'm heading to Los Angeles for opening day at Chavez Ravine. Mm, good for you. Have fun. Bye. Enjoy that. <laughs> Blissful Hayes says Baker Mayfield isn't even good enough for the USFL. That, oh, that's not true. That's I just that. Come that. on. That's that's just not even true. I'm good enough for the and, USFL. And, and I'll tell you why. Because uh, not not the USFL, but I think it was the XFL before they uh, closed down the second time. Um, y- you know, the, their one of their best quarterbacks was like Jordan Tom. He's not on NFL roster right now, so no. I, you know, it's just no. You, he, the guys in the NFL are good enough to be in the NFL, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're a starter, and it doesn't necessarily mean you're a superstar. All said, do you really think the Browns disrespected? Baker Mayfield, I maybe it, they did. I mean, it if, sounds like they made him some promises, or uh, maybe they did or they didn't. I don't know, but uh, it did go down a little bit rough, didn't it, guys? Yes, yeah, very if, rough. <laughs> if if they, when you you imagine the, the kind of season that he had, <laughs> yeah, really rough. If if they led him to believe that uh, that they were going to take care of him you know, either financially or just get him a longer term deal of some kind, or you're still our guy. And then the moment Deshaun Watson became available, they, they turned uh, and made an about face. Then yeah, there, there's a level of disrespect after there. The, after the season he had playing through what he played through. Yeah. Got they, his ass kicked all that was, over. That was terrible. Cause that if was they, awful. If they thought he wasn't their best option, they would have shut him down. So he played through all of that. Uh, you know, you, you gotta, you, you gotta have some respect there. To a degree. At all least I can be say, honest with the guy if you're going to change directions on Right. All I can say is, thank God they stopped playing his horrible TV commercials. <laughs> <laughs> it, I, it was the only good thing about the end of football season. If he does go to the uh, Seattle Seahawks, you know they're going to have uh, him moving into the new place. They're going to just keep that yeah. stupid crap going. So I almost hope he just takes a $18.8 million year off. What the hell is that noise? <laughs> Oh, one of my kids is playing with the damn uh, intercom. Ah. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I, I think that that Baker is um, a, a, a guy that that can lift a team. I, and I do think that he has been uh, good at points, solid at points. But I'm, I'm not going to pity him too much because it's not like the team never tried to build around it. They gave yeah. him an amazing running game. Yeah, they, they, they've given him an opportunity. But the way that they went about this, I mean, I understand if you have a chance to get, you know, Deshaun Watson, uh, you know, one of the uh, elite quarterbacks in this league, 
uh, you, you go ahead and, and, and you sink uh, your, your investment into him and, and you've got to move on from your current quarterback. But boy, the way it was handled this year was just absolutely horrible. And they, the kind of stuff Baker had to play through. I mean, anybody that's had a shoulder injury uh, of any type knows how painful that is. And then this guy is repeatedly getting uh, uh, pummeled in the backfield and, and he's trying to lead this team and, and he's as beat up as he is. And then they they'll say, Hey, thanks. Uh, now listen, uh, we'll, we'll see you later. We got a new quarterback. Bye. Bye-bye. You know, you would, you would think they would assist somehow in getting him onto another team. Good cat says burn in hell Dodgers burn in hell. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I agree. Lost Toby says, I'll take Jimmy G over Baker. There it is. I said it. Would you take Jimmy G over Baker? Well, I, I think Baker's more durable than Jimmy G. So, I mean, in that regard, I, would, I might take Baker. But Jimmy Glassopolo would not have played with the injuries that Baker Mayfield suffered through last year. As far as Again, the decision making. Being a making, tough guy doesn't make you a great quarterback. It just means you're a tough guy. I, I know that. But what I'm saying is, but if you take Jimmy G... Uh, at least Baker was on the field. Jimmy G, he would have had one of those injuries, and he would have been done for the season. And which team went further? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but the, the Niners were just better. I th- if you swap Baker Mayfield and Jimmy G, the Niners probably still get to be about where the Niners are. They're a running football team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's again, defense. back to what we were saying originally, Baker Mayfield, yeah, probably would fit in very nicely uh, with the Seattle Seahawks and what mm-hmm. Pete Carroll wants to do. And it looks like Pete Carroll won that struggle. Uh, you could say Russell Wilson won the struggle by getting the hell out of town, but Pete Carroll still the coach. And it would be familiar to Baker. I mean, it's not like the Browns aren't a running team either. They've got Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt, and both of those guys are fantastic running backs. But you would send Baker to Seattle where off of the play action, DK Metcalf's getting the ball. That's a little bit, that's a little bit more of a higher ceiling there. Boogie says Jimmy G is a better quarterback than Baker, but he has to have an offensive line. Well, that's the same thing Baker needed. So <laughs> yeah. give them both an that's, offensive line and let's see who's who. That's what most guys need in the NFL. Um, but Jimmy G has one and 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 Baker did not have one. So we'll we'll see. If you if he's able to move to a team that can put that up in front of him, that that big offensive line and then give him the running game, we might see maybe uh rookie season Baker again. Kiss the Cook says, what does Curtis Mayfield and Baker Mayfield have in common? Both were really surprised when something got dropped on them. (laughs) (laughs) Big George says, nice. Jeffrey's mansion is so massive that he has to have an intercom system to call the butlers and the maids on staff. It's true. It's true story. It's true story. (laughs) <laughs> kind of get tired of running up and down the stairs yelling. You know, I, I just like it. Jeffrey's original response to that was just a shrug. Just, well, obviously. I don't know. You know duh. Don't, what do you want to say? <laughs> uh, Boomer Sooner says, see exactly what I'm talking about. Baker's not a bad quarterback, and you're still talking about it. That doesn't mean anything, Boomer. That doesn't- yeah, me- mediocre doesn't mean bad. He's just very average. And, you know, for where he was drafted, that's not great. And uh, that that team wants uh, to be what Baker what Baker thought he was going to be. (laughs) Just Just one interruption after another. Baker Mayfield, hold on. Baker Mayfield's calling. (laughs) I said you were. I said you were mediocre. I never said you were. Just no. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. If you want to make Baker Mayfield's also my insurance agent. No. No. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead and add the other car. Yeah. Okay. Love you. Mean it. I mean. That, that, that's incredible that he's on TV in the commercials, but he's also working for Progressive. That's oh, really... Yeah. It was yeah. one of the conditions because he's not that good at quarterback. Mm. 888-368-1580. So on to a, a nicer story, uh, a nicer story, and uh, making at least a silver lining out of a very, very dark cloud. Uh, a lot of uh, NFL fans have stepped up and it started to collect and donate money to Dwayne Haskins wolf trap animal rescue uh it's a north virginia group and uh i guess they got a huge pick in donations like like in a very short amount of time like sixty five hundred dollars came in and i'm sure by now even more has come in and i guess that's a nice way to pay tribute Uh, it was one of his uh passions in life uh was uh helping out animals he says dogs are man's best friend we just love spending time with them they bring a whole bunch of energy and make your day brighter and so uh, his uh, charity uh, you know, helped out that kind of thing. So anyways, that's a nice 
at least something is yeah. out yeah. of a very yeah, bad cool. situation. That's very cool. Very cool. So, yeah. Um, speaking of the Steelers, I guess uh, they're looking at Tyron Matthew, the honey badger, former Cardinal, former, uh, former chief. Uh, and uh, they're like, well, We'll take Tyron Matthew if the price is right. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So if you're going to bid on the price is right to get Tyron Matthew on your team, uh, you know, where do you where do you place it? Where do you play I, it? My I, bid is going to be a dollar. I, I you know what? I'm well, not no, falling no, for you fools no, anymore. Randy, we're not and bidding. these prices right. So it's a dollar. That's well, my last offer. I understand mistrust, but no, this is Plinko. We're playing Plinko for Tyron Matthew. Where you place? Plinko. Where do you oh, place geez. the the, the oh, disc God. that's going to go down and get to win? Him. <laughs> what does that have to do with paying a guy? I just, Plinko. I, and I and you're 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 bringing up some very bad memories for for Randy right now because they do the Plinko at the Diamondbacks game. Oh, that's why I brought it up. Oh, okay. So you did that on purpose. All right. Well. Because, I mean, Randy, Randy's stewing right now. Now he's stewing. Are you stewing, Randy? No, I, I told you. My last offer is a dollar. I don't care if we're playing Plinko, Planko, <laughs> or whatever it is. Yeah, for me. If I'm the right, Steelers, fine. I get you two you fools. Get a it's a dollar, and I win, All bitches. Right, no, are, no uh, Keon, go ahead. What's your are, are, are we talking about, like, what, uh, yearly? Um, Price is right. Uh, how much would Tyron Matthew uh, get paid? Yearly. Yearly? Uh, you know, probably, probably like 10 mil a year. Randy, dollar, I win. No, guess what? <laughs> Two dollars, I win. Bam! Man, you never. One of you, these days, you never want to be the guy who bids first. That's all. I One of say. these days, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new texter on the program. A uh, new texter, uh, thirty eighty-seven, says Mayfield's going to get traded to State Farm to team up with Jake. Can't wait for a Super Bowl Jaker commercial. So how's that going to go? You're going to have. Uh, you're going to have Mayfield, uh, Mahomes, and uh, Rodgers. You're going to have three quarterbacks. Was it like a quarterback club for State Farm? Yeah, Mayfield, Mahomes, and Rodgers. All I can think is one of these things is not, not like, like the other. other. <laughs> and the answer is two really good quarterbacks and Baker Mayfield. Two two of those guys are on their way to the Hall of Fame. One guy is uh, he's, he's an NFL it. guy. He's yeah. playing near it. Yeah. <laughs> Hefty Lefty says Baker has been reduced to calling people about car warranty services. I thought that guy's name if voice sounded familiar. Dodger Danny says, by the way, mediocre, uh, the definition is actually below average. Yeah, okay, I'll stand okay. by it. Yeah, still. Uh, it's it's but it's not it's not way like it's not bad though. You're we're, like if you're below average, you can be slightly below average, which is around where I think he is, honestly. George, come on. He says, is that Jeeves, the head butler, Colleen Jeffrey? Tell Jeeves, <laughs> bring the Bentley around since the show's almost over. George, come on, man. There's an elevator that brings it up. Okay, there's no bringing <laughs> anything around. Uh, Senior Wakenbake says, Dodger fans headed to the game, going to do my best not to get shot or stabbed. That's what they do on the way to those games. Yeah. The hefty lefty yeah. says, the guy from Pawn Star says, the best he could do is 500. On Baker Mayfield. It's the best we can do. <laughs> best I can do. Yeah. Pops died. I just don't have the money for this. Uh, so did we have an actual uh, opinion? Did we have an actual opinion on Tyron Matthew? Well, I think Keon much? said 10 mil a year. I, I would million. say uh, for Tyron Matthew. You said $1. I, I said $1. But no, I, I would I would agree with Keon around that. $10, $12 million a year. Oh, so you're going and 12 million. It, and it probably wouldn't be well, uh, a long term. Uh, it wouldn't be a... Uh, yeah, it, would it, it would be a long term one contract. two year deal. Yeah, yeah one year, yeah. I think, right there. Yeah, he, because he's. I mean, he's. I hate to say this, but he's. I mean, he's getting older. Uh, and uh, listen, he's he's uh, he's not Troy Polamalu. Okay, he, he's much uh, he's much uh, shorter. He's he's as tenacious as Polamalu was, but I don't think he's got the same athletic uh, abilities that Troy Polamalu had. So, what are you gonna do? His, 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 his strength is his instincts. He just seems to always know where to be on the football field. He always seems to know where the ball is. He's got a nose for the ball. The, th those are his best qualities. And, uh, you know, you start to decline in age. The instincts are still going to be there. But then you, you're a step slow. So 3087, I, it was not a new texter, actually. I, I just sort of scrolled up and saw they, that he had texted before. And the last text was... December 13th, 2018, when we were on in the midday, Randy. No kidding. When did we go to afternoons? It wasn't. Yeah, it was I, I in think, March. Uh, it was. Uh, no, we went. We went to. Uh, no, you joined the show 
in March. Oh, is that what it was? But in March? I don't think we went to afternoons until. Oh, you're right. It was like January 3rd or like something. 2019. So he, yeah. he was texting in. We were yeah. on uh, at noon. And uh, yeah. wow. So we, you, first off, you haven't texted in since 2018. Mm. Second, have you not had time to come up with a text or nickname yet? <laughs> it's, but Jeffrey, he's he's been out there listening, watching. Makes it even worse. Yeah, waiting. You've been listening this whole time, and you didn't come up with a nickname for four years. Waiting and watching. Three years and change. And are you general. a sloth? No. I think you guys know who he is. Oh, what? What? He's one of. He's one of them. One of them. Who? One of little little, little green men. One of the non-existent people who are supposed to tell me when I'm late for a break? One of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All the right. The truth is out there, Jeffrey. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear some tighter underwear to keep him from probing me. So, uh... Oh, by the way, you're, you're, you're late for a break. Oh, thank Jeffrey? Is Keon one of them? It's time for a break. <laughs> is Keon one of them? He could be, Jeffrey. All right, let's take a break. and we come back, we'll find out what's bugging Keon because, well, he's probably bugged that we didn't do it in the last segment. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Learn how thousands of smart homeowners are investing about a dollar to avoid expensive home repair bills. John, a former non-customer, said, My air conditioner broke and I had to spend $1,900 to fix it. Jeff, a customer, wrote, My air conditioner broke and I got a new one at no out-of-pocket cost. Mary, a former non-customer, wrote, my heating system stopped running. I had to spend $3,000 to get a new one. Lisa, a customer, wrote, My heater stopped working. I got it fixed at no out-of-pocket cost. For about $1 a day, you can have all the major appliances and systems in your home guaranteed fixed or replaced with HSC's home warranty coverage. Call now, and the first month is free. If the lines are busy, please call back. 800-657-5714. 800-657-5714. 800-657-5714. That's 800-657-5714. If you're age 62 or older and own a home, this message is for you. Reverse Rob here, Money Radio's expert on reverse mortgages. Learn how to tap the equity in your home and increase the quality of your life by earning tax-free income while protecting your other retirement assets. Join us for our free second Saturdays webinar every month to learn more. This is not too good to be true. All you need to do is reverse your thinking. Call me today, Reverse Rob, to learn more at 602-REVERSE. That's 602-738-3773 or download my app by searching Retire Right with Reverse Rob. Can you tell which pills contain the deadly dose of fentanyl? Neither can your child. Counterfeit pills laced with fentanyl are killing Arizona's youth at an alarming rate. They're cheap, easy to get, and just one pill can kill. Get the facts on fentanyl at talknowaz.com. Talk with your children. Monitor their texts and social media. Visit talknowaz.com. This message is sponsored by the Substance Abuse Coalition Leaders of Arizona. You retire only once, so you've got to stick the landing. There are many choices to make when you retire, but choosing the right advisor might be the most important one you ever make. The right advisor can help you avoid mistakes, avoid income shortfall later in life, and help you grow your money with smarter investments. To retire comfortably, you need to know that all your bills are paid, your investments are well chosen, and your income is secure for life. The IQ Wealth Smarter Bucketing System does all of this for you by separating your money into clear and distinct buckets, each with its own specific task and time deadline. You retire only once, but Steve Jurich at IQ Wealth Management helps people retire and stay retired every day. Advisory services by IQ Wealth Management are registered investment advisor, custodian Fidelity. Get smart and decisive in 2021. Let's meet soon. Visit IQWealth.com, IQWealth.com, IQWealth.com. This is Brian Musburger. Don't miss Pro Football Blitz Saturday afternoons right here on Arizona Sports Betting Station, 1580 and 99.3, The Fanatic. <laughs> Daily Blender for a Wednesday, the 13th of April, as we progress through the uh, the winding down of the uh, NBA season, uh, playing tournament uh, going on now. And 
Right now it's uh, 79-63, I believe, Hawks uh, over the Hornets. I did not get in on that action, but I, I, I did do, uh, guys, I did do what I said. I, I took the Spurs. Uh, I took the Spurs to beat the Pelicans, uh, and I, I just have a feeling that's going to be the thing. And I, I should take the under uh, on the points total because right now the uh, Hornet-Hawks game, uh, the over under over was 231 and a half. Yeah, it's under that right now. So, hmm. uh, I, you know, I, I, I've got a feeling about the Spurs. So uh, uh, the NBA play in tournaments happening, no sure things, but uh, you can uh, bet at least 20 bucks in same game parlays on the FanDuel Sportsbook. You'll get an instant bonus win or lose. Not only do you get to enjoy the NBA's best uh, fighting it out for the right to advance to the playoffs, but FanDuel's giving all customers a bonus. We're getting in on the action, and the more you bet, the bigger your bonus. And, and like I was saying, I'm taking the uh, the uh, the Spurs uh, to beat the Pelicans. That's not a uh, same game parlay. I mean, I, I probably could go. Gosh, I, it's so hard because I'm not really up to speed on the uh, on the uh, Spurs. But I, I mean, I, I I could probably look through here and and uh, come up with something. I mean, you could you could probably get a get a nice parlay going if you're going to take the Spurs in the money line. You could probably get yeah. Uh, I, I don't know what it is. Probably but CJ McCollum uh, make the uh, first basket. I could take that. I could yeah, throw that in or, there. or to score over twenty because I'm pretty. He's the best player on the Pelicans. I'm sure he's going to yeah. do that. Uh, the the Spurs center Jakob Pertl, uh, really good yeah. passing center. So if you go more than five assists for him, I don't know what the what the uh, the actual line is, but if it's if it's five or six assists, he'll probably hit that number. I could take Ingram and uh, Murray to score uh, 50 plus points combined. And that, that's probably a good one. I, I, well, anyway, uh, I'm telling you what I would do, but uh, you can be a part of this action on the uh, FanDuel Sportsbook and an official part of the NBA. Their app is safe. It's easy to use. You get your winnings fast. And if you're new to FanDuel, uh, sign up today with promo code Randy1580. You can get in on the action as well because it's all going on right now. The play in tournament at the uh, FanDuel Sportsbook app. Uh, download it. Uh, use promo code Randy1580. Get in on that same game parlay action that they're uh, offering right now. You got to be 21 or older. Presence in Arizona. A bonus issued as a non withdrawable free bets that expire in seven days. Max bonus 100 bucks. Restrictions apply. See full terms at sportsbook.fanduel.com. Gambling problem? 1 800 Next Step or text Next Step 53342. Jeff Go. Why is Bill Hayes saying it's never good the uh, Hornets uh, when Mason Plumley full of bleep is your starting center? Mm. So I feel like maybe two texts got mixed up there. Yeah, m- maybe, um, mm. but no, it's it's not a good sign that Mason Plumley is your center though. Mm. He's a very solid player, but he's he's a backup center. All right, I just. Mm. Yeah. struck me as odd. Uh, all right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to find out what is in Keon's craw. Uh, mm. I think we should change it to that. Hey, what's in what's Keon Rose's cre- craw? Yeah. Or is Keon's this Keon's craw? craw? There we go. Just, what's yeah. in Keon's craw right now? Yeah, yeah so, so something of that nature. Well, you know what is in my craw right now? I, I am I am actually tired right now of okay, this thanks, Keon. rash right, moving on. Of, oh. of players. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Baker Mayfield. We were just talking about him. We were just kind of defending him as a serviceable quarterback that can be good in the right situation. And I still think that those things are true. I also think that yeah, he's probably right. If the Browns led him to believe something uh, the, the, about w- the, what direction he had he or what role he was playing on the team, and then they moved in another direction without letting him know, that, that is pretty disrespectful. But is I'm not even gonna your- no. I'm no. gonna take that. I'm gonna put that to the side right now. Baker Mayfield is talking about how, oh, he loved to just go to someone's job and boo them. And this is just following what Sam Darnold said the other day about, oh, I should go to your job and heckle you. And he this is, that, did he? Uh, it, he did say hmm. that. And, you know, guys, cut this out. OK, there's a difference between you, highly paid athlete and random boo. person working a boo, job. Keon. Boo. I mean, boo. what are you doing? What, what are you doing? You, I thought I was supposed to boo Keon. I mean, no, you, you heckle no. me all the time already, though. So yeah, that's kind of true. That's right. <laughs> I would draw my he's in, he's in the middle of a damn rant. Sorry. 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 <laughs> wait, 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 I mean, you're, you're, you're mad at uh, and, Baker. And, and, and also, you know, while I don't make anywhere near the money that Baker makes, I, my, my job is radio. I mean, if, if people want to boo me or heckle me, that I, I can take that. I, I have. Well, I, I guess am, go I ahead am, then. I am. Boo, I am. Boo, I happen to be blessed boo, enough to, 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 to work it. To work a 
job. Ooh, this this just sounds bad. Right, baby, guys. Right. This just sounds really terrible. <laughs> All right, finish, uh, finish you know, your, what's in your draw. But yeah, no, I just I, I happen to be blessed enough to work a job. I'm in the public eye, mm-hmm. but but you know, uh, the, the the privilege is I get to talk about sports for a living. I, I understand that there's there's a blessing in that. And I think that when you get to play a game for a living and you are very, very well compensated, yes, people are going to boo you. People are going to uh, try and figure out uh, and critique what's wrong with your game and what you should do better. And part of your job is blocking out the noise. So no, it's not the same as if somebody's working a job in a cubicle or working at a McDonald's or working at a, at a Staples, uh, going there and booing that person. They're not heavily compensated. Mm-hmm. They are mm-hmm. simply working a job to get by. Like mm-hmm. every person in America is, for the most part, and you're one of the lucky ones that got to, I mean, you put in the work. I'll give you the credit for that. But you have the athleticism that a lot of people don't get to have. So, you know, you take, take the blessing. You know, don't, don't talk about we're booing other people. You know, this goes back last year to when the Mets were were booing back at the fans. Stop that. They pay money. They don't make as, as much money as you do. And they still take their hard on money to watch you leave the fans out of it. Even if you don't like the critique, the mm. same thing that goes with the, the, the one owner we were talking about earlier. Mm-hmm. Sometimes silence is the best thing that you can say. So, uh, Baker Mayfield, you should also know this. If you go and boo the guy who's making your food, you're going to get some extra sneeze. You know yep. what I'm saying? You're going to get yep. a little uh, <clears throat> something extra in your food. Uh, a little more oyster in your hamburger. Mm-hmm. Baker Mayfield needs to watch the movie Waiting. Mm-hmm. That right there. Everybody <laughs> should have to watch that movie. If everybody watched the movie Waiting, A, it's Ryan Reynolds. B, it is very funny. And C, you will never give a server any kind of grief again, and uh, you'll probably never send back any food ever again either. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, you'll never show up uh, five minutes till closing uh, to any restaurant ever again. Uh, closing I'm just saying, time. No, that's not even in that movie. What are no. you talking about? No, that's. No. No, you said closing, and I. That five song minutes came to my head. Closing, you know? mm. Mm. It's a, it's both a great and horrible song. You know that song. Mm-hmm. Don't mm-hmm. get me started. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so all right. Well, that's what was in Keon's craw uh, right there. Thank you, Keon. And uh, Big George, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Remember that we had this texter in the last segment who had not texted into the show uh, since 2018 when we were on in middays. And uh, now everybody's trying to think of names for this guy. Uh, he says, I think that texter's name should just be three years later. And then he did the math. He goes, well, no, no, wait, well, 2018. He should be called the four-year, the four-year itch. Huh. I don't, I don't think we need to make his name based on that. Lost Toby is pretty sure that dude was in prison since April of 2018. Good. Uh, Blissel Hay says it's never good for the, uh, I read that one. Uh, hitting the nut says, Keon, did you see a big green uh, truck, water truck drive past you at the station? That was mm-hmm. me. You look smaller than you do on the radio. Hmm. I can't see the street from any of the windows <laughs> that I'm near. <laughs> so I don't know what you're him. talking about. <laughs> big green water truck. Yeah. Huh? Huh. Mm, you drive a big water truck. green water truck hitting it's the nuts? One those, it's one of those water trucks. So you got one of those guys that, uh, no, if he does, he's a hero. You know, yeah. the big green yeah. water truck is the one that sprays water down to keep the dust down, I think, at construction mm. sites. Are you sure about that? If not for that, then we'd have all these dust devils blown around all over the place. I think well, it's I appreciate that. One of yeah. those water trucks. And he's not an alien. <laughs> just because he drives a water truck. I didn't but. say it was an alien. Make Did you hear alien. me say it was an alien? Well, you're alluding to that with the music. And am I one of those? It's am I Jeff? the X One of them. One of here, them. Look, look at this pen I'm holding. Just look at this pen for just a moment. This won't hurt one bit. It's just a pen, mm. Brady. Mm. Damn it! That, now we're Without confusing. Without the flash of light, yeah, the X Files and the Men in Black. We're just we're damn just it. Going. Yeah, and if you're using uh, 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 the Men in Black uh, thing, that mm. basically proves that there are aliens. Mm. And it, it, you know, look here at the edge of my pen, it's still just, just a pen, just, Randy. What? It's just just a pen. Mm. Sorry. Mm. I mean, I, I know you probably wish that was something else. Uh, oh, hit the nut says no, no, no. Sparkless water. <laughs> nah. I didn't even. I didn't even think of that. That means well, that's even. Uh, that's pretty manly though. That means that this is the guy that comes in uh, lugging two big oh, yeah. things of water. He's lugging water. He's w- water bottles around all day. Yeah, yeah. he's got guns. Uh, hitting the nuts. Got some guns right there. Uh, Senior Wakenbake says 
Waiting, the movie. A little over the top, but everyone has their version. Okay. When did you just suddenly become classy movie reviewer right there? He says, and by the way, I spent 10 years in food. And yeah, don't send your food back. Golden rule. Did you run out of weed? Um, <laughs> after just left, he says, Randy, sell me this pen. Sell me. <laughs> That's uh, from Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, boy, we're running out of time. We better do this. Uh, it's time now, ladies and gentlemen, for On This Date in Big George's Sports History. Back in the year 1984, Pete Rose of the Montreal Expos doubled to right field against Philadelphia Phillies' Jerry Kuzman at Olympic Stadium in Montreal for the 4,000th hit of his remarkable career. Only Rose, who retired with 4,256 hits and Ty Cobb with 4,191 have reached that 4,000 mark. Back to me, Jeffrey. That's true. That's true. The hit king. Pete yeah. Rose. And uh, it was uh, sort of oddly timed that, that the hit came on the 21st year to the day of his first career hit back in 1963 uh, when he hit a triple off of uh, Bob Friend of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So there wow. you go. There's you some deep baseball history yeah. for you. So Thank you, Big George. Complain about any of this. That was a good one. That's a good one, Big George. I like it. King of Kittens, for some reason, says, free Britney. I think that she's already out of that that conservatory thing, so we're good. Uh, She's freed. Mm -hmm. How about free Uhura? Because isn't she still in a trap? Of course, she's got the Alzheimer's, so maybe she should be in the conservatory. Oh, she's got the Alzheimer's. Oh, that's too bad. It's from having that transponder in her ear. Yeah, for all those things. Radiation. Yeah, that, that got her. They yeah, didn't know it. back then. Uh, Lost Toby says, I need a water delivery service. I'm tired of carrying them up three flights of stairs. Yeah, Lost Toby, but hit the nuts. I'll just leave them at the bottom stairs and say good luck. <laughs> yeah. <He's> like, <laughs> yeah. You, you need to work on that. Uh, all right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for us. And everybody have yourselves a great night. There is some basketball ahead to watch. And not just this game. There's another game after that. I mean, it's kind of basketball. Yeah. Uh, then, of course, the real playoffs will start this weekend. One more set of play in games on Friday, right? And then now we're for Thursday. I don't know. Uh, yep. Uh, guys, we'll be back in your radios again tomorrow at 3 p.m. It's the Daily Blender here on 1580, The Fanatic. Bye bye. Here are those. Tax day is nearly here.